special presentation of the World Baseball Classic. The road always travels west for these two eastern powers, Korea and Japan. Their path has taken them to Tokyo. San Diego. And tonight, Los Angeles. This is no chance meeting or an international love affair. It is more like a collision course, a battle for supremacy. Team Japan, the defending WBC champions and steady in this classic, has been on the attack from day one, ultimately delivering the knockout punch to the Americans last night. Team Korea, they are no longer a surprise. They have stood toe to toe with the heavyweights, punching their ticket to the future of baseball in their homeland. Tonight, the culmination of an 18 day journey, the championship game of the 2009 World Baseball Classic. It is the final game of the World Baseball Classic. You take a look at the beautiful Pacific and Santa Monica Pier, very close to where we are, which is in downtown Los Angeles at Dodger Stadium. The home of the Dodgers sits high atop the lookout point where you can see downtown where Japan and Korea match up tonight for the championship. For both of these teams and all of the members on it, they came into this World Baseball Classic wanting to show just how good Asian baseball really is. And tonight, they both are going to show it because they're in the final. Gary Thorne, Rick Sutcliffe, here we are. It is going to be the fifth meeting in this classic between these two teams. Well, and both of these teams are current international champions. Korea with the Olympic gold, Japan, the last World Baseball Classic. Korea wanting to unify these titles. Japan saying, wait a minute, this one's ours. We'll find out tonight. Got to take a look at how these two teams got here. Just how did both of these ball clubs make it? Well, they're so close. You take a look in the 15 meetings since 2000. Korea with a slight lead there at 8-7. to seven. You look down there at the bottom though they have split four games overall in this world baseball classic nothing has been decided as of yet it will be soon last night for Japan they had to beat the United States in order to make it to this Monday night game take a look right here at Jojimo with one of two sacrifice flies he got it going they were down twice to USA and Roy Oswald but they came back Iwamura with the triple the RBI down into the corner that was the big five runs they scored in the fourth inning to knock Oswald out of the ball game and then Nakajima in the eighth inning with the RBI I don't know where Adam Dunn was going on that ball but it scores each row and you can see that the route was on the excitement was all on the side of Japan and then the final out 22 year old you Darvish on the mound Adam Dunn takes strike three the nine to four victory for Japan. For South Korea, they have had to go the same battles, a long route in order to make it here. They won the gold at the Olympics, but it really didn't seem to carry over. Still, people wondered how good is baseball in Korea? Well, I tell you what, Venezuela found out. They told me their scouting report before the game was to pound the fastball in. Well, I tell you what, it got pounded all right. Shin Su Chu right there. Take a look at that, trying to come in with the fastball. He goes out to dead center with a three-run homer in the first inning. They tried it again. Taekwon Kim. Take a look at that. That pitch was right where they wanted it, but it was also right where he wanted it in the second inning. That made the score seven to nothing. And then Day Ho Lee in the sixth inning adding on. There was an RBI single. That helped lead to the 10 to 2 route. Finished off in the ninth inning. Ramon Hernandez shattering his bat. 
ground ball to first to the pitcher. And you can see they weren't even that surprised. They weren't even that excited. I think they expect to win now. In all big games, it is the starting pitching in baseball, wherever it's played in the world, that makes the difference. And for both of these ball clubs, the pitching has been outstanding. Well, we know pitching wins championships. That's where it all starts. And you take a look. Eight of 13 for Japan under two. Korea was six of 12. All hands on deck tonight. It would not surprise me to see most of those guys in this ball game. Take a look at the two starters. We will see it tonight's game for Japan. Hisashi Iwakuma. He is one and one against South Korea in this classic. On the other side, Jung Kyun Bong. He has already beaten Japan twice. If he can do it again, they will be the champions. The pregame ceremonies have been absolutely spectacular here tonight. Both teams on a parade in. We saw the great Sadahara O oh bring the trophy out and go to both managers and wish them well. The color, the festivities, and now it's time for baseball. There's a sign not seen often in major league ballparks. We're happy to pass along the hello and assume the brother knows what his sister looks like. <laughs> <laughs> the final Japan and Korea as we welcome you back to Dodger Stadium by the flip of the coin Korea is going to be the home team. They flipped the coin last night so Japan will be the visitors and let's take a look at the starting lineup they will have. Ichiro has not had a very good tournament so far. See if he comes off that. It's the middle of this lineup that has provided the runs for Japan. Well just take a look at the numbers last night for Jojimo. One for one. Three sacrifices. Two of them sacrificed life. He has moved up into that cleanup spot because of that hot bat. Now these pitchers who will start tonight both teams have seen these starters in a couple of ball games already in this classic. Who does that favor. Well I tell you what Korea likes what they see with Bong on the mound. Japan I'm not so sure about it. The problem for Japan they're four and oh during this World Baseball Classic against right handed pitching two and two against left. Their lineup is left handed loaded. Here is Ichiro, one of the lefties in the lineup, and we are underway in the championship game. Zhuang Kyun Bong on the mound. Ichiro at the plate. You saw the average at just 211 here in this World Baseball Classic. Lee will play in at third base. That is just going to miss outside. I may surprise you a little bit with my key tonight. I think Ichiro needs to hit a home run. How about that. Why only six during the regular season. Talking to him before the game saying you know your style has worked for you but for a lot of guys coming over to the major league it's not worked. Why. And he goes because I have a lot of different styles. He hit seven of the next eight pitches out of the ballpark. See what he can do here tonight against the left hander. He's got a two ball one strike count to start it off. That'll be outside three and one. Ichiro against South Korea in the four games these teams have played in the classic is hitting much better against them than overall. He's hitting 278 against the Korean pitchers, just 211 against everybody else. Bong has been nothing short of fantastic for this team from Korea. That one to center field and a base hit for Ichiro. He is on. Take a look at the numbers here. Tonight's starter. Look at that World Baseball Classic career ERA and 16 innings of work. Defeating, defeating Japan in both the first and second rounds, leading to this championship game tonight. Just outstanding big time numbers against the very team that he is facing here in this game. But the leadoff man is on Ichiro. Nakajima infield moving around. They think there's going to be a bunt and I mean really think it Lee is charging in at third Park the shortstop was almost over to second base and Co, the second baseman was heading over to first. Well I think part of the reason for the success against right handed pitching it's easier to run. Nakajima shows it takes it ball one. Each row with 43 stolen bases during the regular season. You got a right handed pitcher on the mound. You just let him go. With a left hander, more difficult to get a jump. So Nakajima has to be a team player with a sacrifice. Nakajima has led this ball club with a couple of sacrifices here in the World Baseball Classic. Nakajima hitting 316. He's had a very good classic. He's a speedy, 
Good number two hitter can move the bat around. Takes the pitch for a strike on the inside corner. He did not appear as though he was going to bunt until he had a strike. Make Bong throw a little bit here, and the count goes to one and one. You would figure both of these teams are going to play small ball early, believing that this will be a low scoring game. I agree. I mean, they're going to get into those bullpen as soon as there's any sign of trouble, and those bullpens have been so good. Step off, no throw. Ichiro stays off the bag. Kim holding. And that'll be taken inside. Bong falls behind here. Two balls and one strike on Nakajima. If Nakajima pulls that bat back and does not bunt, if he hits the ball, he's going to be on because they're moving in at first and third, charging, and there's nothing in the middle of the infield because they're covering bases. Well, look at how shallow he is at third. Take a look at the charge there. Look at the whole left side of that infield. You're exactly right, Gary. He's wide open. And he can really handle the bat. Let's see how they play it here. Two ball, one strike count. Nakajima showing bunt again. And he meant it. And he drops a beauty. Bong's got to play it. Second baseman covering Gould. Third sacrifice that he has had in the classic. Ichiro to second base. Center fielder number 23, Norichika Aoki. Not only solid defenses as far as errors are concerned, but outstanding range all the way around. You could go too deep at every one of those outfield positions and be every bit as strong as any team in this classic. Park behind the plate is just a he's just a brick wall. Nothing gets by him. So here's a scoring chance early in the ball game as they get a runner down to second base. Aoki, uh, okay, their center fielder, has been spectacular with seven RBIs he's picked up a lot of key hits he'll take the breaking ball up high hitting 333 in the classic there's a spot here Gary where it's the, a middle infielders job to keep each row close the shortstop has got to try to get the third base coach to yell back to each row because the pitcher has got to focus on the number three hitter each row with a decent lead at second base how he takes the pitch up high. Early on here in the first, Bong having trouble getting that off-speed breaking ball in. Remember Carlos Silva constantly falling behind hitters, eventually falling out of the ball game. Bong now 0 for 3 in first pitch strikes. Aoki okay. against the opponent tonight, Korea hitting 250. He's had four RBIs though against this ball club. That breaking ball he gets in. That's three in a row. He's thrown the off speed breaking ball. Finally gets one in the strike zone. Two ball, one strike out. Beautiful evening here. 64 degrees. No wind at all here at Dodger Stadium compared to last night when the temperature got down to 40 degrees and the wind was blowing up to 30 miles an hour last night. 2 1 delivery on the way. Foul back hard into the screen. And that'll even the count up at two balls and two strikes. Tell you what, he's got his good stuff tonight. The velocity is there. He finally found that breaking ball. Now, if he can just get control of his emotions. These teams are sky high for this game. Big crowd on hand. A lot of fans for both Japan and South Korea in this ball game. 2 2 delivery, and he slashes that one foul. And it'll remain a two ball, two strike count. Fundamentally sound baseball teams, both of them. They don't make mistakes. They generally do not hurt themselves out on the field. That is manager Insik Kim for Korea, who will do just about anything at any moment in a ball game if he thinks it will help his team. He's been a wild card in that regard, and every button he's pushed has been right. 2 2 delivery back to the mound. Hold the runner. He dies. Guns it over. Outstanding defense all the way around. First of all, you got to make a good pitch, but then after that, you've got to be able to react. Take a look at Bong right there, immediately looking in the direction of third, anticipating Ichiro maybe trying to get there. Had he done that, he would have been easily caught. Ichiro doing the smart thing going back, then knowing you've got plenty of time to get Aoki at first. So Ichiro has to stay at second base. Now there are two down. We told you how this lineup of Japan is loaded with the left handed hitters. One of the reasons the left hander Bong is starting for Korea. As a result of that, Jojima has been hitting down in the order throughout this classic, but 
because he's a right handed batter he's been moved up into the cleanup spot for this game and he has been strong at the plate he's got a 400 average with a home run and four RBIs so they thought they put him in a slot where maybe his right handed bat would make the difference manager Hara well he hit seventh last night against yeah. USA he's been down in the bottom of the order for virtually every game in the classic blew that one by him on an 0 2 count. So a chance for Bong to get out of what could have been a very tough inning if he can get the out here after that leadoff single by Ichiro. 0 2. Fouled off outside of first, late again, still 0 2. He's put it all together. Those emotions, they're, they're tough to handle. I don't care how much experience you have against a team. You, this crowd is as loud as it could possibly be. He got a little excited. He fell behind the first three hitters. He now has not only put together his stuff, but he's put his emotions with them. Yojima up with an 0 2 count. Runner at second, each year old. He'll foul that one back. Another reason he got moved up into that four spot is that against. Korea in this classic he's played in all four previous games and has gone seven for 13 with a home run and two RBIs. So he's put up some big numbers in the four games these teams have previously played. Japan won 14 to 2 lost one nothing in Tokyo then Korea won four to one and lost six to two the next two times they met in San Diego and a one ball two strike count. So who knows <laughs> this is up for grabs in the championship game. Outfield very deep on Kenji Jojima and a good lead at second for each row. One two delivery. Can't say enough about the organizers of the World Baseball Classic and the pregame show they put on. It was spectacular. Unbelievable. When all of a sudden the music started, seeing both of those teams come out of the opposing bullpens and walk down the line. And then I loved it at the end of the anthems, shaking hands and exchanging hats. And a symphony orchestra on hand for the ceremonies. I kind of smiled when they exchanged hats. I said to you, this is the fifth time. <laughs> These two teams have exchanged hats in the last 18 days, so they ought to be pretty well set for the summer season with hats. <laughs> two ball, two strikes, two down. Each row on second base. And this noise is going to be like this for the full ball game. Great stuff. 2-2, two -two, just missed. He was headed to the dugout. Bong thought he had him. I think his emotions got the best of him there. That ball was clearly a ball. Cut fastball on the inside corner. Wanting to get the inning over with. Realizing that up to this point he has avoided trouble. Boy getting that lead. I don't care if it's just one run. So important with the pitching and defenses of these two teams. 28 year old left hander. The 3 2 delivery and he walked him. So Japan not done yet. Here in the first inning. That'll put runners on at first and second base with two down. Bong in the three appearances, including the two first starts against Japan, nine. only Ichiro three walks in 13 and two thirds innings. He's not a strikeout pitcher. He's only had three strikeouts as well. He'll make you put the ball in play. Nagasawara hitting at 259, a couple of RBIs in the classic. He will be playing at first base in the ball game. Another left hander in the lineup. Big chance for RBIs here. They put a shift on, moving the shortstop almost over behind second base. And he fouls that one back with a big cut. A lot of these guys can really run, but Ogasara is not one of those guys. Take a look at the depth of the second baseman. Look at how far Ko is playing there. Terrific range that he has in normal positions has all of a sudden been increased. Agasawara trying to pick up the RBI and get a two out base hit. Give his team the lead here and an off speed delivery that will miss outside. One ball and one strike. 
So no matter what happens here, one thing Japan has done is they have forced Bong to throw some pitches early in the ball game. What a terrific at bat by Jojiman. He fell behind immediately. He was being overpowered with that fastball, but including last night, he hasn't made an out in a while. They got Sawara 310 last year playing at home in Japan, 36 homers and 96 RBIs. And again, that off speed pitch, which Bong has been hanging up. Boy, he gets that in close to the strike zone hanging like that. It's liable to disappear. Two and one. Exactly right. When you look at the 36 home runs that he hit a year ago, you've gotten past the speed and the high batting averages. Now you get into the power for Team Japan. Gus Awara with a 2 1 count, runners off first and second. And a chopper off the pitcher's glove. They get a force at second base. No runs, one hit, no errors. Two are left on base. The lineup for Korea when we come back. Now, South Korea will get their first wraps as a team. They are hitting 255, but they have outscored the opposition 2 to 1, 50 to 25 in runs. Take a look at Shin. Q2 okay just barely before the game started able to play came in there it was one for two with that three run homer a couple of walks so he's seeing the baseball real well and he's going to need to to have any success of Iwakuma. Iwakuma has held opponents to a 190 batting average so far in the World Baseball Classic just celebrated will be celebrating shortly his 28th birthday. And just under 10 days. In stands Young Q Lee, the center fielder, batting at 286 in the classic. And we'll take the first pitch for a strike. Had one of the more dangerous moments of this classic in a game in San Diego when he got whacked on the back of the head with a pitch, hit him right below the helmet. Had to come out of the ball game. Fortunately, was all right, and has been able to play in all the rest of the games here. But a real scary moment here in the classic. I'll tell you what, watching him take batting practice, he's a lot like Kevin Euclid of the Boston Red Sox. Boy, if he pops one up or he doesn't square it up, he gets upset. Man, this guy is a competitor. Lee on a sharp breaking ball down and in one and two. Look at the confidence of. Iwakuma. Velocity in the low to mid 90s. There's a hook, and he's got a fork ball that's as good as any I've ever seen. One ball, two strike count. And that is there. So Iwakuma starts it out with a strikeout, one down. Six foot three, 170 pounds. Taking a look at the numbers. How about looking at last season? You think this guy's having a World Baseball Classic? He's putting together a pretty good career, Gary. Outstanding numbers. Big time pitchers, you're saying, Rick. Big confidence in him. Experience. One of the reasons why they made the choice to go with him in this ball game. Want somebody who's faced these kinds of situations before. Jin Young Lee, designated hitter. Batting 308, a home run, seven RBIs in the classic. A lot of people question what they did last night when they brought in Yu Darvish in the ninth inning. Toward second base, Evil Mora. Manager Hara. I thought he said the perfect thing. He goes, you know what? There is no game tonight unless we win last night. And there was a ball game. All of a sudden, they get him up, and, and he's ready to go. Well, they tacked on some runs, and really he wasn't needed then. But when you've got a 22-year-old with a future like Darvish, you don't get him up the next day. You bring him in, you finish that game knowing that you've got Iwakuma to come out there and represent you tonight. And Darvish is available. He can pitch in this game because he did not throw more pitches. You don't think they would use him, though? I would not. Pitch is taken down low. Number three hitter, Young Soo Kim. I know. I know he's 22 years of age, and he's going to tell you he's ready and he can throw. And he'll come out there throwing 95. But you can't take a chance on hurting him. Two down, nobody on. 
The only pitcher unavailable for either team tonight who's not one of their starters is Mahara, who worked in the ball game last night. He threw over 30 pitches. So he could not pitch tonight out of the bullpen. It's taken away. Two ball, one strike count. Kim, a 400 average, four RBIs. He's played a fine left field for this ball club. Trying for the one, two, three inning here. Iwakuma with the outfield deep on Kim. 2 1. Down to first base. Big hop play. And Asawara will take it to the bag. And it is a 1 2 3 inning. Our championship game from Dodger Stadium in the 09 World Baseball Classic. No score after one. The umpires for this World Baseball Classic have come from both the major leagues and uh, from the World Baseball Federation. Daryl Cousins has the plate. Carlos Ray will be working at first base in the ball game. Ron Culpa has second base. Willie Rodriguez will be at third. Paul Heinem from Australia and Paul Emmel will be working the lines in this game. And the pitch is outside for a ball. So the pitchers early on able to get done what they needed to do in the first inning. Uchikawa will foul it off, hitting a 231, a homer and four RBIs for Japan. You know, just thinking about the umpire, it's 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 a nice thing that you mention them because when they're not mentioned, it's mean that they're not noticed. It's mean it means that they're doing a great job, and they really have up to this point. Three umpires who did not work in the first two rounds assigned here for the semifinal and finals: Cousins, Culpa, and Emil, all coming to L.A. Two ball, one strikeout. Nichikawa up there. Outfields playing deep all around here for just about everybody. Both these outfields like to come in on balls and not go back on them. Slow roller out in front. His throws to first base are about as hard as his throws to his catcher. There's a manager who talked uh, last night prior to the game. Manager Howard. Uh, asked about his feelings of this game he said I feel it is like the game of the century that's how he put it now he's had some pretty big ball games as a player and manager in his day but he really views this one as a very big ball game for his country for Asian baseball up against this Korean team that they have split with in four games here so that's his outlook on it Kurohara up how good is this because of an injury Kuahara flew over what two days ago now and joined this team as a replacement player. Here he is as the designated hitter in this ball game. When he first arrived, he was told he probably wouldn't play. Yeah. Don't you think it's all about the left hander on the mound and him being able to swing from the right side? Exactly. One ball, one strikeout. Not only one at bat and struck out in a pinch hitting roll. Fouls that one off. I tell you one thing that, that that I've learned too. These coaches and managers watch batting practice. The reason it's so late when we get the lineups is because they haven't made up their minds yet. I mean, you watch big league teams. Batting practice doesn't mean anything. It's home run derby. These guys are bearing down, or they're not playing. One two delivery on the way, taking up high. That is a, a very real difference we've seen in these teams, isn't it, Rick? I mean they they watch and in batting practice if you're just fooling around just trying to yank the ball well, you'll, you'll be watching you'll be you'll be watching from the dugout Yep. two ball two strike count Karahara swung on the off speed pitch and got him Bong gets the strikeout his first I'll tell you what Bong right now reminds me a lot of Daisuke Matsuzaka last night. He struggled early. He fell behind, but you know what? He held on. He fell behind one to nothing. He fell behind two to one. But he, you know, he, he did not give up. He continued to compete, and that's exactly what Bong did in the first inning. He competed. He found a guy he could finally get out, and now he has settled in. He has pitched at the major league level. He was on Atlanta's opening day roster in 2003. Pitch is taken outside for a ball. Akinori Iwamura. Yet another left handed bat in this lineup at second base hitting 280. I remember watching Bong pitch, but this guy here doesn't look anything like what that guy looked like. 
Well, I know delivery on the way. Check swing. He went around on it. Major league record for Bong. Seven wins, four losses in 48 games, only four as a starter. He pitched 78 major league innings, had 62 strikeouts. One ball, one strikeout. Akinori Iwamura. Again, trying to hold up Diddy. They check at third base. Yes, he did. You know, Gary, I just think about, I can remember, you know, years ago when the guys from the Dominican and, 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 and Venezuela were coming over. And, you know, some of them were every bit as talented as others, but they just couldn't adjust. 2 1 delivery, breaking ball on the inside corner. He'll take that call, 2 and 2. Take a look at the pitch here. The command of those off speed pitches. He liked the call. <laughs> Obviously, Aki did not. 2 2. Fastball, Ivo Moore, a little chin music to back him up three and two. Well, you know, a lot of the coaches for Korea were telling me how important it's been. They've had every one of their meals catered. So when you talk about that adjustment, there's been no problem. The players have not had to go out and, and, and find some Korean food that they would be comfortable with. It's been provided three times a day. Three two delivery on the way up high. With two down in the first inning. Kenji Jojima drew a walk with two down here in the second inning. The walk is surrendered to Iwamura. There are the ERA leaders in the 09 World Baseball Classic. Some very impressive numbers have been put up by some very good pitchers. Well, you just take a look at, at Yoon right there. I mean, he's the reason that Korea is here. We know about Bong on the mound tonight and Darvish. I mean, he's going to be back four years from now when this thing's played again. Kataoka batting ninth, playing at third base. Runner on at first, two down. Hitting 222 with one RBI. Outstanding glove man. Asayuki Kataoka. A lot of people might think, Gary, that that's no big deal. Walking Iwamura there, you know, shouldn't lead to a problem. You can get out of the inning. Well, you might be able to get out of this one, but it makes the next inning a lot tougher. Eagle Rivers not a home run guy. Let him hit a triple. Let him hit a double. Who cares? You've got to make him swing the bat so that the number nine guy, the guy hitting 222, is leading off in the top of the third. Instead of him leading off, the guy in the on deck circle could be the guy leading off, and that, that a lot of times spells trouble. He has had the only hit in the game, Ichiro, so far. Boy, what a beautiful. We have seen that change up a couple of times. That's a nasty pitch. One and two. You know, it all comes from confidence too. You know, confidence that the manager's not going to second guess you. Confidence that he's 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 got confidence in you to stay in there. And and that's the difference between Bong now and the Bong that pitched in the big league. Runner on at first with two down. And the one-two delivery. Late on a fastball. There's one of the hardest adjustments I would think for a batter. You've just seen that change up and then you get a fastball about 20 miles an hour quicker. You know you mentioned that he played for Atlanta. Bonk. I mean I don't think you can drive through Atlanta without learning to throw a change up. The Glavins the Maddoxes. Those guys mastered that pitch. You got a good one. One two delivery on the way inside out. Foul ball down the line. And that will hold the count at one and two. Both of these teams come into this championship game with a six and two record. The only losses each of these teams has suffered in the World Baseball Classic is to one another because they split the games that they played, the four games. So nobody else beat them, and now they get a chance here in game number five. Somebody's going to go out champion. One, two. That one into right field, playing shallow, still going to fall in. Heading for third base. No, Iwamura stops. Throw into the cutoff man from Chu. Kataoka gets a base hit, two on for each row. They talk about sometimes the harder you work, the luckier you get. Well, this is really, really lucky. Completely fooled right there, just kind of trying to put the barrel of the bat on the ball. But that's the thing we've seen from both of these teams. They've battled, they've scraped, they've clawed, they've done everything they could to stay away from the strikeout, and that has led to some really big innings. 
Another chance for a two out RBI. They were two on in the first inning. The Gasawara was retired. Now there are two on, and Ichiro gets the chance. Ichiro singled in his first at bat. He's got three RBIs, batting only 231. And we'll take the pitch outside for a ball. Each row, as you would expect, though, has been able to put the ball in plays. Only struck out a couple of times. So even though he hasn't had the hits of the average, he has put the bat on the ball. And in a key moment early, we're going to get a mound meeting. Well, there's a guy that didn't have to put the bat on the ball. Iwa Mura with that base on balls. Look at all of the excitement it has created for Japan. And look at the pressure that it is not only put in, in the dugout for Korea but in the stands and out on the field because of him not throwing a strike with two outs and no one on. Little confidence builder going on any language you could tell what that was all about. A 1 0 count with two down. Will this be the ball game where each has perhaps his best game of the classic. I was laughing with him during batting practice. I've seen you before. I said when you when you get a hit they usually come in bunches don't they. Well he's two for his last two. Once he gets going. Look out. And a ground ball towards first base pitcher covering Kim the flip and they get him. So Bong bears down. No runs, one hit, no errors, two are left on base. That's four left on by Japan in the first two innings. Boy, what a gorgeous night. Typical Southern California Dodger Stadium. There's the size of this ballpark. Take a look at the dimensions there, and it gets bigger as the night goes on because it gets a little bit cooler, the air gets a little bit heavier. It's always been a park that favored pitching. And a big house on hand to watch the championship game. Tak Young Kim. If he has any kind of a night, and if Korea can win this, he's got a chance of being the MVP of this tournament. He's hitting 385, three homers and 11 RBIs, playing at first base. He will take the slider off speed outside and a 2 0 count. If there is someone in this lineup for Korea whom you do not want to have beat you, this is that hitter. Iwakuna will be very careful with him. Pitch is taken up high, nothing close, 3 0. He don't need to look at that third base coach. He's got the green light if he wants it. It's totally up to him here. 3 0 delivery, and he decided to take and does. He is a very patient hitter for a power hitter in that number four hole in the lineup. He will take pitches. He's not in any particular hurry to go up there swinging, but when he does, look out. Three ball, one strike count. Takes that one down the line in right field. Ichiro coming over and makes the catch in foul territory. Not easy because the stands close in on you in a hurry down there. <laughs> Looks like he might have been fooled a little bit there. Look at how he kind of cruises right there, and it's almost like that ball got caught in a jet stream and at the last second took off from him. But you know what? At the last second, he took off too. Ichiro makes the play. They get a big out. 100 runs a year, 300 average, 200 hits, and a gold glove every year for Ichiro. Sin Su Chu, the lone major league representative. On this ball club from Korea, hitting just 167 in the classic with a home run and three RBIs. He's had very few at bats, only 0 for 2 in games played against Japan here in the classic. Off speed delivery swung out of miss, 101. I know we're in the second inning, but watching. Iwakuma on the mound. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking no hitter. <laughs> Tell you, he's and he's so effortless tonight. He's got the rhythm going early. One ball, two strike count. 
people talk about him being the Greg Maddox of Japan. I, I, Greg Maddox didn't throw this hard. One two delivery and that will be taken down low. Of course Iwakuma with 78 career wins. Mad Dog tipped in over 350. Iwakuma's got one out in the two ball two strike count. On Chu. And not going to hit that one. Down and into him. That's the second strikeout he's had. Maybe a little bit late for the key in my thoughts for Korea. The key is don't strike out. You got to put it in play. You got to put pressure on their defense. A lot easier said than done now with five outs. Iwakuma has recorded two of them via the strikeout. Two down and nobody on. Five in a row retired by Iwakuma. Gunho Lee hitting at 375, three home runs and six. RBI so far, and the fastball is in there for a strike. Iwakuma's not falling behind on hitters now. Come to the plate, better be ready. Lee hit 276 last year in league play. Gold glove winner at third base. One and one on him. Well, and you know what, too? He, he put up those numbers for Korea's manager. Mr. Kim, when you get to a game that you got to win. Ground ball played easily, Iwamura, and a 1 2 3 inning. So pretty effortless right now for Iwakuma, dominating on the mound the first two innings, scoreless in our championship game. We talked earlier about the fundamental soundness of both of these teams. Watch this. Well, just take a look at the energy. I mean, that ball's a base hit to left field. Look at him charge. Look at the throw. I mean, that is 100% effort trying to make that throw. Look at the double play. Look at how quick and crisp that thing is turned all the way around. And you go all the way around in the outfield, and, and they went three deep with everybody making the best throw that they could make. And, Gary, a lot like batting practice, the coaches, the managers all watching that. And I'm telling you what, if you didn't make a good throw, you didn't play. It is fun to watch them. Do that when they go oh. through the infield. We don't even see that Major League Baseball anymore. Most teams, their starters don't even come out and take infield anymore. You know who I think of? I played with him for two years, and you've been around him a lot longer than that. The guy that was adamant about taking infield, Cal Ripken Jr. Absolutely. We go to the top of the third inning, no score. Japan Korea battling for the championship in the So9 World Baseball Classic. Chances have gone to Japan early on here. You know, you say battling. I mean, one guy's cruising. Yep. Bong has been battling. Bong's had two left on in the first two innings. Good heater. Nakajima can't catch up with it. He grounded out his first time up. Hiroyuki Nakajima plays at shortstop and plays it about as well as you'll ever see a shortstop play. He is sensational with a glove and hitting 316 here in the classic. 1-2. Big cut fouls that one back. Japan's Prime Minister Tara Usso said to his team uh, via letter, "You got to keep up the momentum to win the title for two straight times. I hope you will." The evening edition of the uh, Nikkei newspaper: The United States stake their pride on being the controlling nation, but Japan magnificently countered and repelled them with technique. How's that for a sentence? Repelled them wow. with technique. <laughs> and the best one I thought was that. The world figure skating champions are going on and Japan's champion Maho Asada said that the run by her country has helped her get up and compete in the figure skating championships. She says I'm watching every game and I'm fueled by what they do. Ground ball towards short. This is going to be a tough play. Long throw. Not in time. Ki Young Park against the speedy Nakajima who will get an infield hit. That's how you set your lineup together. You try to put some speed at the top of it. And every now and then when you put it in play, you can find yourself a hole. Look at this. I mean, there's nothing he can do. Great job there into the hole. Comes up with it. A perfect, strong, accurate throw. 
But Nakajima with a lot of speed and you know he's one of those guys that not, they're not content just to be at first base. He's going to think about more. Now Aoki in at third base is Lee. He's the number three hitter but that doesn't mean he won't bunt. Scoreless ball game Japan with three hits. Bong will make the throw over. You see how Japan has won their games to go six and two. Seventy seven hits coming in sixty one singles. They've added two more base hits in this one. Fastball is in there for a strike. I just look at, at, at how they've outscored their opponents 45 to 13. I mean that's from the very beginning they've only allowed 13 runs. So if you're Korea this, this is a huge spot right now. Yeah. Japan has out hit opponents 287 to 190. That ball is off the glove and into right field. The runner will stop at second base. Aoki is on. Cole at second is a gold glove second baseman. I'll tell you what he did. This ball was hit hard, but before he caught the baseball, he started looking at the runner. I guarantee you he was trying to figure out if I get rid of it quick enough, is he off far enough to double him up? And all of a sudden now the ball goes off his glove. A rare mistake by either one of these teams, particularly on defense by Korea. And that will be an error on the second baseman. And now runners on at first and second with nobody out. Korea committing just their seventh error of the classic. Just to kind of give the fans an idea of what happened there. When you hit a ball that hard, it's a lot like a knuckleball. I mean, it gets that same kind of rotation. Think about catchers that have trouble catching a knuckleball coming in at them. That ball went out a lot harder than it came in. Here's a big chance. Joe Jama, who is batting in the cleanup spot, and look at this, he shows bunt. We'll see how the managers change here. Manager Hara moving him, as we said, from the bottom part of the order up to this cleanup spot because of a left hander and because he has hit well against Korea in this classic. One home run and four RBIs. Does he mean it when he showed bunt? Lee has moved in at third base. Here's the 1 0. He met it and fouls it off. 1 0 1. I think you would agree Gary these these two teams are so close it may come down to a decision made by one manager or the other here you got a one one count right now it's a possibility of a hit and run well if the hit and runs on if you're Korea you want to pitch out all of a sudden you take yourself out of the team if if, if you're Japan and you put the hit and run on if it doesn't work well you should have bunted so all of that pressure on the shoulders of both of these managers particularly right now. How many times during the major league season do you think you would see your number four hitter asked to bunt never in the third inning of a ball game. I don't think I've ever seen it. No but it doesn't surprise me here. No it doesn't. And he squares again and again he fouls it off and you know Kenji Jojima over the last few seasons in the major leagues has not been asked to bunt very often. I don't think other than the pitchers in the National League anybody yeah. gets asked to bunt particularly anybody in the American League but now I mean it's a tough spot right here I. I I would I commit myself that, that, that's how I would man I, I commit myself to the bunt right now you wanted him to bunt for a couple of reasons to advance him and to stay out of the ground ball double play I committed to the sacrifice to begin with I would stay with it right here he already has one sacrifice in the classic one of five that Japan has put up on the board and he wants a timeout. One two count nobody out runners at first and second kind of take a look now defensively at what they've done. Before they were in at the corners, you had to lay down a really good bunt. Now you don't have to. All you got to do now is just push that ball in the direction of third base. One two delivery, not bunting. Ground ball and a slow roller. Going to try it second and get the force out. Ooh. Young Ho Lee got it to go at second base on a tight play on a slow roller. Now runners at first and third. That turns out to be a huge play. It keeps the double play still in order, but I am shocked right here that he made that decision to go First in that direction. I thought he beat the throw. Take a closer look at it here. He's committed to making that throw. A great job at second base. You can see the second baseman turning into a first baseman with the stretch. Take a look at it closer here. 
Wow, what an outstanding job. He was out. Ron Culpa was right. On the money on a very tight play. Now first and third. Only one out. Infield, of course, will play a double play depth here. The Gasawara hit into a fielder's choice his first time up. 250 hitter in the classic. He does have some pop in his bat, however. Breaking ball in the dirt and stop for ball one. Gasawara, one of the veterans on this team from Japan. 0 for 4 with runners in scoring position. They have left four on base. Second and back for Ogasara. And the, every time he looks out, there's been two guys on. Japan hoping he can cash in here. He's a 318 career hitter in uh, 12 seasons playing in Japan. He has led the league in batting twice. At 340 and 360 in 02 and 03. We were talking about decisions that managers have and thinking about Korea and their manager, Mr. Kim. He has seen Bum Ho Lee all year long. He knew what he got down there at third base, and that was a big, big play. Chance again for Bong to get out of an inning. Runners on for Japan in the first three, 1 1. And the ground ball base hit into right field. Nakajima will score the RBI for Augusta Laura, and it is a one nothing Japan lead. Bong showing a lot of frustration here. He made a great pitch. He got a routine ground ball, but because of the man on first, Taekwon Kim had to hold the runner on. You got to give. The hitter a lot of credit there because he knew that too. Look at the gap between first and second. Bong's got to question his pitch selection a little bit there. He went with the off speed curveball that led right into the approach for the hitter there, leading to the first run for Japan. And how Japanese like is this game? They've got a run on four hits, and they still do not have an extra base hit. The singles that they've piled up throughout this classic continue. Only one away and two on. Uchikawa stands in and will take the pitch for a strike. A home run, 214 average. Bong really hasn't made a bad pitch. I mean, everything he's done has been on the infield. Look at him there. He breaks the cover. Where was he at? Oh, that's right. He was holding the runner on. You don't like seeing emotions out of your pitcher. 0 oh, 1 delivery ground ball that same hole base hit runner at third Jojima will be held as it's gunned into the cutoff and by Chu another single the third one of this inning that will load the bases. Korea is really fortunate right now that that is a catcher standing on third base anybody else would have been sent and you would have tested the arm. But because it's a catcher, he wasn't able to go from first to third on the ground ball. He's not able to score from second base on that. So still an opportunity for Korea to get out of this, but also an opportunity for Japan to blow this thing open. And here comes Kurahara again. <laughs> you got to love baseball. You can't hide in this game. Not that he wants to. Well, Gary, here's one of those decisions. I mean, you, you've got a bench full of guys. Who are you going to select as your designated hitter? You you try to pick a guy that's going to do some damage. For the most part, these teams have done it. This is one of those spots. He's 27 years old. He was on the large roster, to, but did not make the final cut. He was at training camp with his team. He was back in training camp for his home team in Japan when he got the call two days ago to join the ball club because of an injury. Looking for his first hit. Fouls that one back. As we told you, he has good numbers last year 310, 25 homers, 92 RBIs. He got a phone call while he was taking batting practice in a, before a preseason game in Japan and was asked if he would come. Got on a plane and flew to Los Angeles. Jong in the bullpen warming up. Bases loaded, one out, 0 1 count. Strikeout victim, first time up. He's seen those changeups and is at bat so far in this game. 0 2. Tremendous running that fastball in on their hands. He's not made a bad pitch in this inning. 
he's just been really unfortunate. I mean, the air hurt him a lot, but all of a sudden, you know, those ground balls finding holes. This is a quick infield right here. Here's the 0-2 delivery. Fastball is up high. One ball, two strike out. Kind of feel like that was by design, don't you? Park was asking for the fastball up, maybe thinking about coming back with that good changeup again. Boy, what a job Japan has done with that pitch count. Even 71. With, yeah, even when they've made out. He's only got 100 pitches that he can throw under the rules for the classic. And that's going to be up high. So no matter what happens, Correa is going to be going to the bullpen and relying on it for a major part of this game because we're only in the third inning. Two ball, two strikeout. Korahara trying to get Jojima in from third. Nagasawara from second. Yuchikawa from first. And the 2 2 late on it. It'll stay at 2 and 2. Now, this is a spot in the lineup somewhere where the person he took the place of, Murata, was their leading power hitter. When Japan lost their best power bat because of an injury, a torn hamstring. And that's why they had to make the substitution. Young Jin Ru now as they change up in the bullpen. 2 2 delivery. Towards third. Chance for two. Koo, the relay. They get it. And Bong with that change up gets a big double play but Japan will get one run three hits one costly error and a couple left on base. We go to the bottom half of the third inning looking for a champion of the World Baseball Classic Japan one and Korea nothing. And a one nothing lead one run on five hits but. Six have been left on by Japan in three innings. That's why we've still got a ball game. And you know, the, the, you didn't figure Korea was going to get many men on base tonight, but the key for them, Gary, is to get a leadoff man on base so that you can put the game in motion. That ball is going to be popped up by Koo, the second baseman. Handled easily, one pitch and one out. Agasawara comes in to get it. That's seven in a row retired now. He's throwing those first strikes that forces it to come up swinging. I think both teams were, were, were saying before the game tonight that you know the big difference is Japan's pitching. It, it, it's been the big difference not only in the 06 World Baseball Classic but again this year. It's the main reason that they are here. You just simply can't score on them. One away. Still looking for their first hit. Young one Park. Hitting just 95 095 with one RBI. His job has been to handle the pitchers, and he has done that behind the plate. He's gone 0 for 8 in at bats against Japan in the previous four games. As you look at the beautiful sight here at Dodger Stadium. 0 1 delivery to him. Slider outside 1 1. Gary, that's a great point. You, you think about the, the names that, that Park has handled as far as Korea's staff. You don't have the Dice K Matsuzakas. You don't have the 98 miles an hour from you Darvish. You don't have 21 wins on the mound like you do with Iwakuma. This guy's done a terrific job and he's been so important to their success. One one delivery to him. Two ball one strike count. He is a veteran catcher. They've always discussed it seems like each game whether or not you put a bat in that might be a little better than his rather than let him stay behind the plate but ultimately the decision continues to be that they need his experience back there 2 1 delivery and that is a called strike two and two Iwakuma wants to go through the bottom part of this order in a hurry and not throw a lot of pitches because they are not hitting the bottom three in the lineup for Korea 2 2 delivery on the way then he gets strike three called. That's that's not good at all right there. Darrell Cousins 30 years at the big league level but he misses this one horribly. That ball was almost in the dirt. I give I give Park a lot of credit for not arguing because he's got to go back out there get behind the plate and try to get that pitch for his pitcher. 
but that's that's not right in a game this important. That will be three strikeouts for Iwakuma so far. Iwakuma had nine K's in 12 and a third innings pitched in the classic coming into the game. Ground ball second base Iwamura gobbles running throw got him. It is a quick inning and the first nine have been retired by Iwakuma Japan leading it after three one nothing. The championship for the 09 World Baseball Classic to be decided in this fifth meeting between these two teams here in the Classic. One nothing Japan leading going to the fourth inning. 74 pitches. Bong has thrown. Wow. Here's Iwamura to short. Park. Boy, swinging right there really helps Bong. I totally agree with you. That last half inning lasted three minutes. That's all he got yeah. to go in and sit down for. And you know what? Korea needs that. I mean, they've been on the edge of their seat. They've been on their tiptoes defensively every inning with all the men on base. But right now, they find themselves just down one to nothing. If they can get back in there in their dugout, relax a little bit, take a breath, maybe they can get something going. One quick out right there. Kataoka, the number nine hitter, batting 300 in the classic, got a single his first time up. He will take the off speed pitch from Bong for a strike. Kataoka with Ichiro waiting on deck. Japan on top, 1 0. 1 5 0 Japan, zeros and an error for Korea. Got that one to left field, hit hard, and Adam Ball. Kim is there. Three pitches, two outs. Had a great conversation with Ichiro before the game. Such a likable guy with all the success that he's had, still worked so hard at every phase of the game. And he, he was talking, I said, you know, think about all the championships that you've got, the batting titles and all that. What what does this mean? He said, you can't put it in words. And I said, but you guys have already won one. That does not matter. Go Ichiro in any language. Two away and nobody on. Ichiro is single, grounded out, now hitting 225 in the classic. This ball game in the first third has been what we expected a pitcher's duel. Japan has put together the singles and gotten a run out of it. Bong has had to work hard, but has kept it at just 1 nothing. Ichiro will take the pitch away, two down, nobody on, 1 and 1. Bong's fourth appearance in the classic. He's held hitters to a 182 average in the previous three appearances. Two against Japan. Up high, two and one. There's something else I learned about Ichiro. I, I didn't realize how much preparation and time he spends on his feet. I mean, he, he, he does things with these wooden sticks on his feet. He's constantly. You know, you think about it, he's on him a lot. As your feet go, so goes your body. Well, you know what? I mean, I, I trim my nails once in a while, but that's <laughs> about it. This guy, he's constantly, you know, with, with the, the reflexology and all of the things he does. Ground ball towards second base. Go up. One, two, three. They might get something going offensively now. Look at the energy they've gained from the first easy inning they've had. They needed that quick inning and they got it and that allows Bong to go back and sit down one nothing Japan. Ball game that is being seen around the world and you better believe in Japan and Korea a lot of viewing eyes. This is Jamsil Stadium in Seoul Korea. Twenty thousand people are watching this game on the big screen. It's eleven o'clock little after eleven in the morning. And that's a swing at it by Lee. And we welcome all of them and all of you around the world, wherever you are, to a classic matchup. That, that doesn't happen, Gary. I mean, I, you know, this is just the second World Baseball Classic. I, I remember the very first Super Bowl had 35,000 empty seats. That's right. This is tremendous. 
It's what the World Baseball Classic is all about and is supposed to be. Lee hitting a 267 in the Classic. Will not try bunting there. Lead off batter. This is there's a six second delay over there. Now they see their picture on the screen. <laughs> They're already into Tuesday there. And it is a two ball one strike count. Remember the key we talked about for Korea? Don't strike out. They've had one every inning, including looking in Lee's very first at bat. If they want to put some runs on the board, they want to have a chance to win this game. They have got to start putting the ball in play. And what that means to me is swinging earlier in the count. Iwakuma throwing strikes, and that one is fouled off. Rick, uh, one thing that Korea has used to help their offense coming into this ball game 45 walks compared to just 17 surrendered. This guy's not going to walk it right. This guy has command of four above average pitches which means he has a lot of way to put you away. You're not going to strike out if you don't let him get to two strikes. I think they've got to change their approach. I know they've been patient with a lot of other people. Darvitz Dice K I might have done the same thing but not now. Iwakuma gets it in slap the third nice pickup. Kataoka makes the play. That's 10 in a row retired. One down here in the fourth inning. Love how he plays third base. Did a show oh, for the uh, the equivalent of the Today Show in Japan. They asked me who I really like to watch. I said the third baseman, Kataoka. I like the way he plays at the plate. He's got great speed, and he is a sure-handed third baseman. I love their shortstop. I, I, I think his range and his quickness. We were watching him against USA. He was throwing guys out by 40 feet. And then you think about Iwamura at second. It doesn't get any better than that in all of baseball. They have a tremendous infield. Big cut fouled off. Jin Young Lee, designated hitter, he grounded out his first time up. Iwakuma getting it all done here so far. He has kept these hitters off balance for the league twins that he plays for in Korea. Very solid offense. They leave the middle open for him and move the second baseman Iwamura a few steps back and over towards first base. He's very deep on the outfield grass. Two strike count. Lee with one home run. That'll be taken down low and a one ball two strike count on him. You know another thing too. You, you, Gary, you and I've talked many times how you coordinate your defense along with your pitching plan. And you take a look there at first base, Oga Sawara holding on to that first base line. It tells you that he's planning on throwing Lee a lot of off-speed pitches. One-two delivery to him, and got him. That's strikeout number four. Two down, fourth inning. The previous pitch, he took a fastball right down the middle. Now he takes a fastball on the outside corner. I, I just, I, I know they want to be patient, and that's been their approach all along. That's what's got them here. But if they want to win this ball game, they had better change it. And if it means you got a bunt to get, just break the ice here, absolutely, you, you do it. Even with two outs and nobody on, you say, well, that's not a good play. Normally, it's not, but it might be the only thing that works. Young Soo Kim, the number three hitter, will take that one down low for a ball. You saw by the pitch count, Iwakuma is actually getting better as the game progresses, throwing fewer pitches in these innings. Dangerous sign. He's thrown only 40 in a ball game. 1 0 pitch, and there's a base hit, solid shot to center field. Young Soo Kim. Puts a marker up for Korea. And you know what? He's the first guy that had forgot about being patient. Even though the count was 1 and 0, making throw a strike seems to be what they've done. He said, I'm going to try to strike something myself. Pretty good off speed pitch. You know, if you're patient, what happens? All of a sudden now you're one and one and he starts slicing you up. They've got to get more aggressive. They finally got a guy on base and they've got the perfect guy for them at home plate. The big offensive producer three home runs a team leading 11 RBIs and batting 370. Tate Young Kim who flied out to right field his first time up. 
couple of home runs off Dice K. He has hit. Right now, he'll try and create a two out rally. Slider is outside, ball one. 340, 324 average with 92 RBIs last season. Playing with the Eagles. He is so confident in everything that he does. He is four for 13 in the previous in all the games they played here against Japan in the Classic. Big cut, pulled back on it a little bit. One and one. Well, that's his job. He he's supposed to be the one guy that makes something happen, and rather than he's trying to put it in play and worrying about striking out, he he's got to go up there and take three big cuts. If he can find a wall, just get something to roll up against the wall, they can tie this ball game up. The young Kim with a one ball one strikeout runner off first base. Iwakuma looks over, comes back inside on him and keeps it down one and two. Kim was a rookie of the year at the age of 19 when he started pro ball in Korea. So he has been good from the get go. You can see it in his eyes. Had an opportunity to, through the interpreter, talk with him before the game, and there was a lot of confidence. Eva Kuma trying to get out of this 1 2 delivery is outside. Two balls, two strikes. Korea's been able to put the long ball up. They've delivered 10 home runs, and they've pretty well spread it out. Kim is their leader with three. Young Kim also has picked up three. Kind of surprising power. 2 2. We've heard that word a lot with Korea, have we not? Surprise. How they've surprised people. Well, a lot of times you think, well, you know, they hit all these homers, the ballparks are smaller. Well, forget about that. The biggest ballpark in baseball is San Diego, and right behind that is Dodger Stadium, and these guys have been going out at will. Two two delivery. Going to take it full, miss down low, three ball, two strike count. Remember earlier in the count when he chased the fourth ball down in the dirt? You want to know how you hit 324 for a full season? You make adjustments. Made one right there in the at bat. Three and two, two down. The runner will be going. Young Su Kim at first base. Ogasawar is asking, do you want me to hold the bag? They want to keep him close, so he's staying behind the runner at first and not going all the way back. He'll go in the pitch. Now backs up, 3 2 delivery. Swung in the air, left center field. That ball near the warning track, but it's playable and hauled in by Uchikawa. Welcome to Dodger Stadium. You hit that ball an hour ago, it would have been out of here. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left on base. Solid ball game. Through four for the championship. Japan won and Korea nothing. Well, he had all the fans for Korea on their feet for a moment. Well, you know what? After that quick inning, all of a sudden they got a little momentum. They finally got a guy on base, but you could see there the late movement to that pitch. He just got jammed a little bit. He was hoping, but you could see him slow down right there. He knew too that he didn't get enough of it. It remains one nothing as we go to the fifth inning. Nakajima leading it off, fouls it back. The number two hitter. Fans who were watching in Seoul, they were up. They were hoping. Oh man! Well, they, they saw him during the season last year do it 31 times, where the ball ended up in the stand. He spoiled it. Nakajima batting 350 now in the classic is single and grounded out. He has scored the lone run in this ball game. That came in the third inning on in an RBI single. Agasawara has picked up the RBI for Japan. Bong on the mound, a one ball, one strike count. He has walked two and struck out one. Had a one, two, three inning in the last inning. First time he's done that, thought he had that pitch, didn't get the call. And the count goes to two and one. Nakajima led the Pacific League in Japan with a 410 on base percentage and hit 331. A very solid eye at the plate. 2 1 pitch. 2 and 2. Table setter. 
set that table get on base so the big guys hitting behind you can eat. This guy does a terrific job of that and that's one of the big guys. Gold glove winner as well. You got the middle part of that order. Aoki. Jojima waiting. Two ball two strike count. Nakajima will move out of the way of that one and the count goes full three and two. Some kind of a high wire app it's been for Bong huh. And the three two delivery. Not afraid to go off speed on any count. Just kind of thinking too I. I don't recall one time that he has had to shake off the pitch put down by Park. Park's the man in charge out there. Pitching staff follows his lead. Here's the 3 2 again. And he does walk him. Third walk, leadoff man on. You can't like what you see there. You don't like walking the leadoff, man, but you have to like what you've seen up to this point. Two men on in the very first inning. Take a look at that. Able to get out of it with the ground ball. Two men on again in the second. Ichiro looking at him getting over, covering first in time to get out of that jam. We go to the third inning. The bases were loaded, only one out. Again, making a big pitch. Getting the out that he needed to stay in this ball game. But to me, watching that last at bat, it's, it's, it's almost over with for Bond. Nakajima is a speedster. 25 stolen bases last season. Bond's already up to 89. He's allowed to go to 100. A bunt wouldn't surprise me here. Looking for the bunt in at third base. Uh, okay, we'll take it down low. Big moment in a one nothing ball game. They all are now as you get to the middle part of the game. And that will be taken down low for a ball. He can't find the strike zone. The game plan right now should be exactly the opposite for both of these teams. One team needs to be swinging the bat, and the other team can be real selective. I mean, he's not going to hit the outside corner three straight times. He might hit it once, so you're going to get a really good pitch to hit. Uh, Oki 0 for 2 in the ball game. 314 average. We'll take the pitch for a strike on the inside corner. Last night against USA, Japan. Six leadoff men to reach scored four to five previous times. They know how to move runners around. Well, and here's a spot to me right here, though, where you don't need to do a thing as a manager. You don't need to bunt. You don't need to send the runner in motion. That's why you hit a guy third because he is your most productive guy. And that is taken down low, and it goes to three and one. That was an outstanding job of managing them. Some people say you got to run, you got speed on the base pass. Mr. Hara put the right guy in the third spot there. That was a difficult pitch. That 2 0 fastball he got on the inner half, he's probably going to get that same pitch right now. He'll be ready for it. Okay, an outstanding hitter. 338 average over five seasons playing in Japan. Toss over to get him back. Not a big lead. Nakajima's not shown any intent to go here. You don't want to run yourself into an out right now the way Bong is throwing. I think that's one of the big difference between Japanese baseball and baseball in in the United States. They they sit back and watch 3-1. They don't they don't force the guy to swing at it. I've seen in Japan a lot. They send the guy. He's running and it works. Chu is up with it. Runner going to third. Here's the throw on the way. Not in time. Aoki delivers a base hit and again. Japan threatening nobody out runners at first and third. I, I can't let Bong face another hitter. If I'm the manager, Mr. Kim, for Korea. He's just simply lost it. You knew what you're going to get. You're going to get a fastball, and even though it's up and out of the zone, when you know what's coming, you can take a big swing, able to drive the ball past the second baseman, first and third.
And I think the night is over for Baum. He will go four plus innings, charged with six hits, all singles. He walked three and struck out one. He'll be responsible for the two base runners who are on here. He has beaten Japan twice already in this World Baseball Classic. He will leave this ball game, not have a chance to be a winner, but certainly kept his team in it. So now the bullpen will go to work for Korea and try and hold Japan down here. Japan's got the one nothing lead. Kyung Wook Jong comes out of the pen fifth time on the mound. Well, you can see why this is the guy chosen right now. You got a right handed hitter at home plate and you need a strikeout. Nobody out. Men on first and third. This is a guy that has gotten it in the past for you. Jung has appeared in two of the previous four games against Japan. He's worked three innings, giving up no runs on two hits, no walks, and four strikeouts. Joe Jamuk has walked and hit into a fielder's choice. Runners at first and third, and nobody out. Foul ball, and that hurt. That was fouled off the catcher. Park came right down on him. This guy is as tough as they come. Check swing right there on the part, right down off that back. Looks like off the left ankle, didn't it? Mm. Huh. Made a nice big black and blue mark right down the side of his leg to his ankle. He's got enough equipment on, but the ball will always find the spot where you don't have any, won't it? Look at him. Look at the energy. He's not pouting back there. He knows this is a big spot. Judge him up. Looks it up high for a ball. Batting clean up 385, a homer and four RBIs. 0 for 1 and a walk in the ball game. I, I just love what Park did right there. Both of those pitches have been up. And you know, instead of throwing it back right away, do you see how he kind of walked it out just to try to slow the moment down in hopes that John can do the same thing and bring his location down? One ball, one strike delivery. That will miss away two and one. A leadoff walk. Nakajima, he's on at third base. And then the single by Aoki. Bong, responsible for the runners, will watch from the end of the bench. Two ball, one strike out. Jojima will foul it away, and Young able to come back and get the count even two and two. Young Wook Jong is an interesting story. He tried to avoid military service in Korea and ended up in prison for eight months, along with others, some 50 of them, who were involved in a scandal. None of the others came back to play. He did. He said, I used the time in prison to build up my strength and my abilities in the game, and here he is. Breaking ball is taken outside. He ended up missing a season because of it, but came back with a 10 and 4 record and a 3.40 ERA. And has put himself back within the good graces. He said, I met with condemned criminals and even gang members. They were exercising, and I realized that as an athlete who is supposed to exercise, I better get it done. So he did wow. in prison. Here's the 3 2 delivery. Swung on and missed. Got him to chase one. What a filthy split finger fastball he comes back with on 3 2. Is it ball four? Absolutely. But it started out like it was going to be a fastball on the outer half. Looks like it's going to be up and away. That's when Joji committed to that. A big, big spot there, and you kind of wonder if all of a sudden Jojima didn't feel the pressure more so than Jong did. Now there's one away. That means a double play can get him out of the inning. Well, and that strikeout that, that, that you had to have, Mr. Kim, the manager, went exactly to the right guy. Augusta Juarez singled in the lone run of the game. RBI came in the third inning, is also hit into a fielder's choice. Solid numbers in a 12 year career. Agasawara playing at first base in the ballgame. The infield will stay at double play depth. Aoki at first base being held. 
the 0 1. 0 and 2. Well, remember how he drove in the run the last time. Intelligent hitter, knowing that there was a man on first, there was a gap between the first and second baseman. He got an off speed pitch and he just pulled a routine ground ball through the hole. He has not seen anything off speed up to this point. Two really good fastballs away. Oh, and two. Runners off first and third. Runner goes to second. Swung and a miss. Chance for a double play. And got him. He went off the bag. What a job by Korea. A strike him out. Throw him out. DP as Park gunned it. And over in Seoul, they celebrate. An inning that could have been big for Japan ends up with nothing. Sometimes when you look for momentum, you got to get it out of your pitcher. And to get it, you need a strikeout. And then all of a sudden, he comes off the bag. I don't know what he was doing running right there. Comes off the bag. There's the tag. Park once again getting them out of a tough spot. And as a result, the lead is still 1 0 Japan. Home run of the classic for Chu. All that good defensive work, all that pitching that got done in the last couple of innings has to ignite the team. Well, it ignites one team, and it's really a downer for the other. I mean, I just think about Iwakuma. He he took the mound feeling like I ought to be up five or six to nothing. Instead, this ball game is tied. 1 0 delivery. That is in there for a strike. Young Ho Lee grounded out his first time up. Think they don't care? <laughs> that, that's where chemistry and energy come from. The guys that aren't playing. That, that, that's how you want to put together a team. You know, instead of pouting because you're not in the ball game, doing everything you can to encourage and energize the guys that are. They are energized and so are their fans. They deliver to Lee is in the dirt. Now Iwakuma, he's got to draw back a little, settle down. You saw the pat on the back of the pitching coach after giving up the home run. That shocked me that the pitching coach came out. Yeah. You know, it tells me that, that he too, even as well as he's thrown, is on a short leash right now. 2 2 delivery on the way to Lee outside 3 and 2. He has not walked anybody has struck out 4. He retired the first 11 batters that he faced before Kim got a single in the fourth inning. And now leading off the fifth the home run by Chu just their second hit. But enough to tie the game 3 2 and he gets him five strikeouts. One away. Second baseman, Lots 14. of broadcasters Jimmy from around the world on this Korean radio included. Listen to the call on the home run Korean radio game. Yes, it was. Well, you could tell I Ioki was completely fooled out in center field. He thought that he said, There's no way he's going to hit it over my head. That ball just kept going. Oh, that shows you some kind of some kind of super strength. Young men go, and he rifles that one to the corner in left field. Over and not getting it. Short hop. Going to go for two. Here's the throw on the money, and he is out. Yuchikawa. With a perfect throw after a great pickup to get the out at second base. You will not see a better defensive play by an outfielder than this one in the ballpark. Maybe going up over a wall and bringing a home run back. Look at the, at the hands that he had there to come up with that in between hop as he was sliding. And then look at the throw right on the money to Iwamura in a big, big spot there. Look at this. Look at how quick he gets up. Off balance going the other direction. Makes the throw perfectly. And then the tag barely in front of the hand. You feel the intensity of this ball game picking up? There are two down. 
Look at the sliding catch. Look at him come up throwing. Everything had to be perfect or else that was going to be an extra base hit and probably at the end of the night for Iwakuma. What a great play to get that ball in the glove out there. Ball has popped up a silo shot. Jojima. And he'll put it away. Park is retired. What an inning. Well, Holy cow. And what energy Korea has right now. And if Japan, Japan wants to defend their championship, they've got to match it. The leadoff homer by Sin Shu Chu has tied the game up as we've completed five. Championship of the line. 1-1. One, one. Just a great ball game and some great fans enjoying it here and around the world. And it is a 1 1 game. And here's the man who made that play, Uchikawa. He has singled and grounded out and made a spectacular play in left field. And Rick and I were just looking. <laughs> this is so typical of Asian baseball. He's a first baseman. He's an all star first baseman playing left field who just made that play. When he goes back to play in Japan, he won't be in the outfield. 1 0 delivery. Fouled away. They take the best athletes, put them on a team, and then find positions for them depending on the game, who's pitching, and the situation. You know, it all starts with being a great athlete. Well, that was a great play. And there are 18 of them out there on, that, yeah. on the field tonight. 1 1 count. Uchikawa hitting a 267. And the pitch is up high to him, 2 and 1. Young Wok Jong on the mound came on, got two strikeouts, retired three with a strike him out, throw him out, double plate, and that last inning. Home run by Chu has tied it up. 2 1. Fouls it back, 2 and 2. So Bong went four plus, a run on six hits, three walks, and a strikeout. The starting pitcher for Korea. He showed a lot of heart. Which Pitch is, tough innings, huh? He really did. He, he didn't have his best stuff. His command was not there. Back was constantly against the wall, but he would not give. Ichikawa, the 2 2 delivery to him, and a grounded towards the hole. Nakajima, great stretch. You'd pay to watch D in this game. Conversation now at home plate. Umpire Daryl Cousins. We are going to have a pinch hitter here. Chicago is out of there, one away, and the designated hitter is the spot that's coming up here. Kurahara had hit into a double play and struck out the DH who only showed up a couple of days ago. I think this might be an Abba. Abba has played a lot. It is. Yeah, he was the designated hitter last night in the ball game against Team USA. He was on base a couple of times, scored a couple of runs. Batting 300. In the classic so far, he will pinch hit, take over the DH role, and the pitch is taken inside. Ki Young Park, shortstop for Korea, Nakajima for Japan. Outfield plays made by Uchikawa, Iwamura at second base. All have had great defensive plays already in this ball game. That's how you stay in games. You pitch and you play D. And then you manufacture a couple of runs. You know what, Gary, and I really think Major League Baseball can learn a lot from watching these two teams play. So solid, fundamentally sound, ground ball play, and there are two down. Poe gets it at second base, and Abba retired. All hands on deck. We talked about it at the beginning of this ball game, not only talking about the bullpens and the guys that are going to come in, but you're going to be emptying those benches, just trying to find a way to get a lead. Everybody watching, including the players who aren't in the ballgame, the bullpens. 
Iwamura. I can argue Iwamura. He has grounded out, drawn a walk, hitting 269. Two down, nobody on, 1 1 game. We are in the sixth inning championship ball game of this World Classic with Japan defending the title that they won in 06. Playing Korea for the fifth time in this classic. The teams have split the previous four games. 1 0 delivery. 1 1. Really makes me think and look a lot differently at international baseball. I think that's a truism right now around the world after this classic. 16 players for Team Korea also participated in the Olympic Games. Got him swinging at it on a one ball, two strikeout. Bud Selig commented a couple of days ago there will be another classic, he said, four years from now. They may up the number of teams to 24 with play in rounds that would come over by teams that don't have a lot of major league players. Got him swinging. John coming out of the bullpen, three strikeouts, a one, two, three inning here in the sixth. Japan and Korea tied at one. crowd they are ripping and roaring here at Dodger Stadium and seeing a great ball game we go to the bottom half of the sixth inning one one Iwakuma the starter still on the mound for Japan Park the number nine hitter is grounded out Lee at the top of the order to follow Korea started this ball game 0 for 11 at the plate they've gone three for their last six strike taken on the inside corner. One six and zero oh for Japan. One three and one for Korea. No walks, five strikeouts. Iwakuma. Slider will miss outside. The only thing I can ever compare the crowds to with these games is the Olympics. It's never-ending noise. One one delivery, a chopper right back to the mound. One down. One thing about it, there's just so much to cheer for, whether it's a home run or a strikeout or a great defensive play. There you see the numbers. Iwakuma, the starter, three hits, five and a third innings, no walks, five Ks. Bong out of there. He held him. He had a much tougher job because he had people on base. Two for nine runners in scoring position for Japan. They have left seven. Korea's left one. Top of the order. Young Q Lee has grounded out, been called out on strikes. 250 in the classic. And he'll take a strike to start it out. There we go again. I mean, they're right back to, to where they were to begin with, with that being patient approach. That, that's not working. Park found out in the first at bat here in the bottom of the sixth. You, you see what happens. I mean, he just kind of looks inner half, outer half for the first pitch. But after that, all of a sudden now, every, it's either on the corner or on the black or maybe just a little bit off. His command is so good. He has been very efficient in his performance, throwing just 66 pitches so far in the ball game. And he's got a hundred that can be used here in this final under the rules for the classic. Two ball, one strike count. And Lee takes it outside, watching it go by. Three and one. He didn't hit a home run all year long during the regular season. It tells me you take this pitch. He does have speed. Get him on and see if they can do something with it. Absolutely. 3 1 delivery. And he does, and he's on. The first walk surrendered in the ballgame by Iwakuma. 
I don't make a move. I, I don't see any problem at all. Sure, he walked a guy. It proves that he is human. But Iwakuma still has good stuff. He's still got a lot of life to his fastball. You know, we watched we watched Baldwin. All of a sudden, he started losing. He walked a guy, and he gave up the base. It, it, it was getting away from him. He was falling behind. There was no life there. You could tell he was fatigued by by his mannerisms. I don't see that at all with Iwakuma right now. Jin Young Lee, designated hitter, batting second, speed on at first. They'll recognize that with a throw over. I remember a long time ago, my first manager in the big leagues, Walter Alston, with the Dodgers, saying that in a one run ball game, one manager or another will determine the outcome. If it's two or three runs, usually it's one pitcher's better than the other. Four or more, it's an offense. But in a one run game, two stolen bases, two for two for Lee, who's on at first. Long look down at the third base coach Rue. Everybody paying attention. And not only the eyes of, of, of Korea on the third base coach, but Japan watching as well. The, the, the scouting reports for these teams has been so good. Everybody's trying to pick up each other's signs. Jin Young Lee is grounded out, called out on strikes. 1 0 count with one away. Lee at first base, not going. One ball, one strike. One thing you learn right now, you know, the little game and the little things that go into it. You know what happens right now? Even though he fakes like he's going, the first baseman has to holler. There he goes. You've got a left handed hitter up. The catcher can't really see the base runner. So it's the first baseman's job to say that. Well, guess what? While he's yelling, there he goes. The guy on the mound hears that too, and sometimes it affects the location of the pitch. And the shortstop is moving when he hears it. He, he leans at least towards second base. 1 1. He was more upright there. You spend a lot of time as coaches bearing down on a base runner, maybe tipping that, that, that he does something a little bit different when he goes as opposed to when he does not. He was a little bit more upright with his lead, letting me think that he might have been going there. Young Q Lee, the base runner. Jin Young Lee at the plate. 1 1. Again, fakes the go. Swung on and missed. 1 and 2. Seemed like he was back down more a little bit there. Now, with two strikes, that completely takes the hit and run away. But you start thinking about the stolen base. See how he's kind of down more, just a little bit lower? Got that hand on the back leg. 28 stolen bases last season for the base runner. Well, he's off about 10 inches further than he's been at any point yet. 1 2 count. Starts to go. They got him. He just got in under the tag. He's he thought he had a read, but he was wrong. You got to recognize leads, and that's uh, that's another great thing that Iwakuma does right here. He steps off, he makes the throw back, but with the throw being a little bit high, not able to get the tag down. Watch him go to the bag back in there, just getting in before the tag hit the shoulder. If it's a left-handed first baseman, there's probably an out. But the right-hander's got to bring the glove across. That little extra movement let him back in. One two runner not going and the pitch is taken away. And the count goes to two and two. What a great ball game to wrap up this 09 World Baseball Classic. What a great battle going on right here. If we look at the numbers there a lot like what they were back on March 9th against this same team. But back on March 9th that was the end of the line. You wonder how much longer he's going to be out there. Double action in the bullpen. Two ball, two strike count. Runner goes. Swung on a miss. Chance for two. The tag. Throw him out. Strike him out. Throw him out. Double play as Jojima puts that one on the money. So each team has had one of those. And down is Young Q Lee at second base. I think his face might have gone into the leg. 
of Nakajima. Nakajima doing a great job blocking the bag there. It looked like his left hand went to the base, but his face went to the left leg. Yeah, right there. Wow. That is a solid collision with that knee. And a piece of something went flying after that. May have been of the helmet. It went to the right and something else went to the left. He gets up and looks like he's going to be all right. He's walking away. 1-1. One, one. And we are happy to say that Yun Q Lee will stay in the ball game. And his helmet indeed did shatter on that play. We go to the seventh inning. We are still tied at one. Ground ball to the hole, and this one's going to be through for a base hit. Kataoka delivers the single to lead off the seventh inning for Japan. How tough a week has this been for Young Q Lee? In San Diego, he took a shot right to the back of the head. He had to come out of the game, obviously, but no concussion. Came back to play. Now, tonight, it's the other end of his head that takes the beating. I can't believe that that helmet broke there. That, that's not supposed to happen. That's supposed to be provided for protection. It's scary when that happens. You got some shards going there. You know, I'll, I'll be a little, I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit surprised that there wasn't a left hander ready to go right now. Here is Ichiro. Ichiro has singled one for three in the game. You've got a left hander coming up. You've got Nakajima after that, and then another left hander with Aoki. I know he's stone well. I know about the strikeouts. He hadn't given up a hit yet, that being John. But if, if Kataoka would have gotten on base, that would have been the last hitter he faced for me. There goes Kataoka, shows Bond. Here's the throw, and he's in. Kataoka with a stolen base, representing the potential go ahead run here in the seventh inning. You got a left handed hitter at the plate. You bring in a left handed pitcher, as you did with Bong earlier, you basically eliminate the running game. They've got a bunt. They've got a hit and run. They're not going to try a straight steal. They do that. Ichiro saw the sign. He knows as a base stealer how it can help by putting the bat in front of the catcher. He does that. It wasn't a perfect throw. It was a perfect play put on by Team Japan. Four out of five in stolen bases for Kataoka here in the Classic. 2-0 count on Ichiro, and he does bunt, and it's a beauty. He's going to get a base hit. What a player. Not having a very good World Baseball Classic, but still finds himself in the finals, and all of a sudden now finds himself giving his team a chance to take the lead again. That is a perfect bunt. And you can see there, he wasn't taking off running, trying to bunt for a base hit. It was a straight sacrifice. I've got to bring the third baseman in. Well, he not only does that, but he deadens the ball enough to work with his speed, they had no play. Now the D's got to really play it tough. That's eight hits, and in typical fashion for Japan, all singles. First and third, nobody out. They're moving the infield around here with Nakajima, the number two hitter up. He can handle a bat. He's got outstanding speed. He's a very good butter, and he's hitting 350. In the classic. Look at the hole between first and second. As a hitter, you don't get many advantages in the game. When you get one, you try to take advantage of it. Nakajima swinging away and an off speed pitch to him for strike one. First and third, nobody out. Seventh inning, 1 1 ball game. Ichiro at first base being held even with the bag at third is Lee. See what Nakajima does on the 0 1. He's swinging away and he's got a base hit. Ichiro will stop at second scoring. Kataoka and a 2 to 1 lead for Japan. Center 
what a job and what a ball game by Nakajima. You see the excitement and you see the energy and intensity has been matched by Japan here in the top of the seventh inning. Hit number nine. And in Seoul right now a moment of quiet but it's just a two to one ball game. Kataoka let it off with a base hit stole a bag comes around to score. RBI picked up by Nakajima first and second and still nobody out in the middle of the order. Well they are totally convinced that this is going to be a sacrifice bunt. That's why John is still in the ball game. Aoki has one sacrifice not showing bunt takes it down low for a ball. I, I again I mean I mentioned the left hander would have come in for me against Ichiro. I've, I've got to go bring a left hander in now and just go back and forth. You've got plenty of arms down there. You've got to give your pitcher the advantage of left on left right on right. The full bullpen available for Korea. 1 0 delivery that one drilled in the air to right field at his way back at the wall and caught. Sinsu Chu the runner will move up. Tag put on at second base because they thought he didn't tag up and we may get an appeal on this. What a catch. As Ichiro went down to third base immediately parked the shortstop ran to the bag and said he didn't tag. They can uh, do this again. And Ron Culpa immediately signaled yeah. he called him safe saying that he was he was OK with that. I can't get over the play by Shin Su Chu. I mean not only has he given them the only run that Korea has scored tonight but he takes away at least two and probably saves the ball game. Somebody later on might be credited with the save but I give him a save right now because of that play that wall does not give he is focused on that baseball all the way hits it as hard as he can and then comes up with a strong throw keeping the runner at first base. Boy Ichiro was very close to leaving too soon. Here is Kenji Jojima. He will take the pitch down low. Any chance to appeal is now gone once you throw that next pitch. But I know that he had signaled at second base that he was set, but that's not the proper way to appeal. In order to do it right, the pitcher's got to stand on the mound, touch the rubber, step off, and throw to the bag, and they didn't do it. I don't think it was going to matter. 1 0 count. First and third, only one away. Grounded runners coming. They got a chance for two. There's one and double play. Hang on. Second base umpire Kalpa was signaling something, but now walks away. Unbelievable double play turn. There was no way they were going to get two on that ground ball. Seventh inning stretch time has come. Watch this. I really thought that Bumho Lee would go home with that, knowing that you had to turn that double play from as far as you possibly could. He went ahead and went to second base. I guess Ron, Ron Copa was calling interference there, saying that the double play was intact anyway. A run in, two to one, Japan. Tell you, not only do the players have to be alive in this ball game, so do the umpires because these plays are bang bang plays. What a job! I, I have never. I know we're not even done yet. I've never seen a better game played defensively. Right there, Ron Culpa calls interference on the runner. He was going to call the double play no matter what. They were praying that it was going to be a double play. You could see Team Japan saying he was safe, but Ron Culpa was going to call him out no matter what. And the out was gotten at first base anyway. That was a pretty good tackle though on the slide there. It really was, but you know what? These umpires were having a terrific night. Yeah. Ron Culpa was all over that play and had it ruled correctly. Bottom of the seventh inning, Japan leading it by a score of two to one. Kim will take the pitch for a strike, one and one. Here's the middle of the order now for Korea. They got Young Soo Kim coming up, their number three hitter. He is single, one for two. If he gets on, this is the last guy that I let Iwakuma face. Iwakuma, the starter, going the distance, can throw 100 pitches. Reach that 76 mark. 
He's been outstanding. One walk, six strikeouts, a home run by Chu. The run for Korea. Japan battling back in that last inning. Nakajima getting the go ahead RBI for the moment. 2 1 delivery. Fly ball left field. And Chikawa over near the line will put it away. Kim retired, one down. Iwakuma, if he's facing anybody else, would find himself with a six or seven to one lead. But the defense of Korea. I mean, I mentioned that the John would have been out for me, and everybody's thinking, well, they, they didn't score. What was he thinking? That play made by Shin Su Chu was unbelievable. At the wall, running into it, taking an extra base, hit away. And then the double play, the throw again by Bun Lee, the turn. This, this is what the World Baseball Classic was open for. It was great baseball. One down. Here is their cleanup batter, Tuck Young Kim. He's had a great classic. Three home runs, 11 RBIs, and a 357 batting average. 0 for 2, though, in this ball game. And 4 for 14 against Japan in the five games. He was going for Malibu on that one and an 0 2 count. He can get there. He connects. He can drive one out of any ballpark. Iwakuma's 0 2 delivery to him. Trying to get him to chase one, a ball and two strikes. What a performance of the starter for Japan. Just sensational. He is 1 and 1 against Korea in this classic. Bong, who started, had gone 2 0 against Japan on the other side. 1 2 delivery, sliced in the air to right field. Each row's got plenty of room. Two down. You start getting a little bit concerned now with Iwakuma. And I'll tell you why. For the most part, he's been either striking people out or getting ground balls. Everything on the infield. All of a sudden, this inning, the outfield has been active. And here's a ball player who put it by everybody in the outfield. Shin Su Chu delivered a home run. He has also struck out. Two down, nobody on. Seventh inning, Japan leading it two to one. One zero -oh. down the line. Uchikawa is over, and he's got it. Three fly ball outs and a one-two-three inning. Seven complete the 09 World Baseball Classic Championship game and a two-to-one Japan lead. Bottom of the fifth, after Korea had tied the ball game, all of a sudden the defense showed up. Uchikawa coming up with a base hit and then the perfect throw to nail the runner at second base. On the other side, look at Chu going up against the wall, taking extra bases away, and then to end the inning, the great play by Bum Ho Lee, the throw, the stretch all the way around the corner, taking away another run from Team Japan. That takes us to where we're at, Gary, at two to one in the top of the eighth. Tremendous baseball game. All you could hope for in a championship ball game. Agasawara will lead it off. He has singled at RBI, struck out, and a fielder's choice. 267 average. Eighty five hits now in the classic for Japan. And 69 of them have been singles, including all of the hits tonight, nine of them. And they've got the two to one lead. And the pitch is up high. Jung stays out there working a lot. He came on with nobody out in the fifth inning. So he's already worked three full innings in the ball game, giving up the run on three hits in the seventh. Two one pitch. Left field is a popular place for fly balls. That'll fall in the foul ball. It's kind of got the feeling of, of extra innings. And I think both of these managers feeling that way, realizing now you get to a different part of the game where 
the middle relievers, the long relievers, they're, they're done for the night. Now you bring in your best. And if you look down there in that bullpen for Team Japan, that was you, Darvish, up and throwing. Two ball, two strike out. Ogasa War up. Young's delivery to him, and a breaking ball. It's going to be inside. Full count, three and two. Two excellent managers. 18 of the 15 games these teams have played of late, decided by two runs or less. Korea leads 3-1 in the one-run ball games, but Japan leads in this for the moment, two to one. Swung on it, missed. He got him. John gets his fourth K. Just thinking about the first two games of the semifinal games, they really weren't games. I mean, they were blowouts. But you stop and think about it, these two teams are just so much better than the teams that they beat. And, 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 and as far as names are concerned, no, they can't match them with names. But as far as play on the field is concerned, well, the, the two best teams are here tonight in the finals. They have earned it, and they are playing like it. And there's one away. Ichikawa. He'll take the pitch inside, a single, one for three in the ball game. Dice K. He's had a great, another great World Baseball Classic. Although he struggled in his start, but held him in through four and two thirds innings against USA with a couple of runs and five hits and got the win. And now he's cheering on his teammates watching this one. One ball, one strike out. Uchikawa batting at 250. One down, nobody on in the eighth inning. And we were talking uh, between innings, Rick, a while, a while ago. The reason that Korea is the home team here is a flip of the coin, and it may matter in this ball game. They're going to get lasted bat. I think that's something that will be revisited. They flipped the coin after the game last night with representatives on hand. And Korea won the toss. Two ball, one strikeout on Uchikawa. And he's going to get himself a base hit into right field. Chu over to get it. A one out single, 10 hits on the board for Japan. Designated hitter, number 41, Atsunori Inaba. And with the bullpen fully armed, we'll get a pitching change here. And you might get a hitting change right along with it. Yep. So a runner on eighth inning. Japan leading it two to one, trying to add to it. In a couple of days, he's going to be 22 years old. Rue <laughs> coming on. Take a look at Inaba over there talking with the hitting coach. Aki Iwamura leaning over, offering his advice and what he knows about Rue on the mound. And Abba will put all of that into his computer and try to come up with a plan. Now one down, a runner on at first base, eighth inning. Japan leading it two to one. And Abba came on for one at bat in the sixth. He's in, it's his second chance here, taken down low. Left-hander against left-hander. He's at 286 so far in the classic, a 291 career average, playing in Japan over 14 years. Kind of funny, you got a lot of experience at the plate and hardly none on the mound. And Abba 1 0 pitch got jammed and a call strike. <laughs> Rue is just 21 years old. He's the only player in the history of the Korean League to be both an MVP and a rookie of the year in the same season, and that was back in 05. Last year he started out 5 and 0 and ended up with inflammation in the pitching elbow. Had to shut it down for a while. He's a strikeout pitcher, breaking ball. Fair ball! That's going to bounce off the wall. Two coming over to get it, runner going to third. Ball bounces into the seats. It'll be a ground rule double. Right all right down the line. And a big hit. 
Carlos Ray, the first base umpire, right on top of it, but you could see there hugging the bag. I mean, that's a play that normally Taquan Kim comes up with. That ball got underneath it. Look at him. Watch his ball. He's got that ball. It actually hit off his glove, but not able to catch the ball, not able to knock it down. Right off his glove, that ball went right over the bag, and a big opportunity here for Japan to add to their lead. Their first extra base hit of the ball game comes here in the eighth inning. Then Ava, who took over the DH role, delivers the double. May have saved a run because it was a ground rule double. Now the infield has to move in with only one away. Iwamura, 0 for 2 in a walk in the game. Akinori Iwamura will take it inside for a ball. He's hitting 259 in the classic. Japan tonight, the 4 for 13. The runners in scoring position and the 8 left on. Watching the at bat of Inaba, it was almost like they told him, You're going to get a breaking ball. Be patient and look for an off speed pitch. 1 0 delivery. This is down low. Rue falls behind 2 0. One base hit right here could be enough. Who came up big in the Olympics, but really too young to have played in the 06 World Baseball Classic. 2 0 delivery on the way. That one hit in the air. Runner's going to tag up. It's a cow is coming to the plate. Here's the throw off the mark. Sack fly, RBI. Japan leads it 3 to 1. Huge. Really the only way to describe that run right there. It went as a double. Taekwon Kim will tell you it's a play that he has made many, many times. He couldn't come up with it there. And because of the sack fly by Aki Iwamura, Japan comes up with a third run. And you just wonder if that is more than Korea can come back with. Eighth inning and another chance with two down and a runner at third base. As Anaba tagged up and moved over. And the pitch is outside. Kataoka batting in the number nine spot. Has had a single and a run scored in the seventh. He had a single in the second, two for three in the ball game. Kataoka will take it outside. Ahead on the count, two and oh. Two ball clubs that just keep coming at you. 2 0 delivery with two down. Didn't want to go, but he did two and one. They've kind of taken Kataoka for granted. You know, he's hitting ninth and wasn't hitting much coming into play. He has had three outstanding at bats tonight and also with a run scored. Kataoka's a leadoff batter if Ichiro's not playing. Ground ball up the middle. Park. Quick throw. You see how quickly he got rid of that ball. One run in and a couple of hits with a base runner left on. We'll go to the bottom half of the eighth inning. Championship on the line, and Japan has a three to one lead. The great plays you have seen in this ball game. We go to the bottom half of the eighth inning, three to one Japan. Korea's got six outs to work with here to get back into the game. Lee leading it off. Young Ho Lee, he has struck out and grounded out, hitting 333 in the classic. In the gap to right center field, Ichiro going back, and that's going to take a hop off the bottom of the wall. In the second base, a stand up double. You knew they'd give him a finish. And I'm not real sure they're finished. But I would think that it would be the end of the night 
for Iwakuma. First hanging breaking ball. We saw it starting to come to fruition in the last inning when everybody hit the ball in the air. They finally found a hole. And to me, you can't let him face the tying run. He has already gone further than any other pitcher in this classic. Nobody had gone beyond seven innings. Now he's pitched seven plus with that double. The starting pitcher still out there. The potential tying run at the plate. Young Men Koo, the second baseman, has singled and popped out. Four hits for Korea. Their fans up and cheering. A pie for a ball. That up high has been the difference the last two innings. Now, how big is that sacrifice fly by Akinori Iwamura? Without that sack fly, you're down by one. You just manufacture a run here. You put down a couple of bunts, you're tied. 1 0 count. Towering fly ball, not deep left field. And sliding foul, just barely foul. Nakajima, the shortstop. And Chikawa, the left fielder, neither could get there. I'll tell you what, they got lucky in a lot of ways. Look at the glove and look at the location. He's done. He's tired. I mean, that is Balin and Whalen. That is back legging a hanging breaking ball. Wow, did Japan get lucky, not only there, but with the ball just being fouled down the left field line. This is. This, this this is asking for trouble here. So I'm talking to himself on the mound. The bullpen is ready. Manager Hara watching. He's had the bullpen up for about the last three innings. Darvish, they're just light tossing now. Siguchi. One ball, one strike count. Runner at second base, nobody out. In the dirt. And there he is, Rick trying to overcompensate and buries one down low. You start to lose your legs. And all of a sudden you try to make up for it with your arm, and then, and then everything just kind of gets out of sync. I, I can't get over the catching. Throughout, I, I mean, really throughout the whole World Baseball Classic, right there, I mean, that's saving you a base. That's at least saving you a run. And we've seen it from both of these teams throughout the series. Down is now two and one. They hold the runner close at second. That one laid right to the shortstop. Nakajima will make the play over at first. They get a big out. Lee will move over to third base, one down. Terrific job of base running. Bum hole Lee. Knowing that that ball is behind him, knowing that his run really doesn't matter. And no one that Nakajima is smart enough to realize that getting the sure out at first. We may well get the pitching change, but Japan's going to wait here. Here comes the big boy. Till the announcement is made on the pinch hitter before they go out if they're going to. Daho Lee coming out to pinch hit. He's been announced. Please. Going for the long ball right here. Number 10. Deho Lee. Moving the outfielders way back, but not indicating they're going to go to the mound. Lee won the triple count a few years ago, part of that gold medal team. And was also the MVP. Of the All Star game over in Korea last year. And he'd give you every bit of that back for a base hit here. One down, a runner at third base. He hasn't homered yet, but I'll guarantee you one thing he's got the power to do it. And he's got a tired pitcher who's making mistakes on the mound. Takes that ball to center field near the warning track. Wow. It'll be caught. 
Uh, okay, we'll have no play at the plate. Sack fly, RBI. Lee scores. It's a 3 2 game, but there are two down. Shortstop, number 60. Interesting. <laughs> that was close. That was close. And we saw go right before that just miss a couple of hanging breaking balls. The man is tired, but you've got to give him credit. He continues to battle. Look at it here. I mean, right down the heart of the plate, the big man just missing. Hitting that ball out of the ballpark, but hitting it far enough to pick up another run. 3 2. Now there are two down here in the eighth inning. We'll have a new catcher coming on as Lee. Hit for Young One Park. Now the number nine hitter. Park has grounded out a couple of times in the ball game. Key Yuk Park. That's how they warm up. They can't come out on the field and do it, so they do it in the dugout. Here's the 1 0 delivery. It's funny because earlier in the uh, tournament in the classic. Both Japan and Korea would send their guys out onto the field during pitching changes and timeouts, and they'd actually run and play catch on the field. And the umpires were saying, You can't do that. So they figured out they do it in the dugout. That's going to miss outside. Three and all. Oh. Lead off batter, Young Q Lee waiting on deck. 3 0 delivery. Taking all the way, strike call, three and one. For me, you got to take another pitch here. Park's not a guy with much power. In fact, he only hit one home run all last year. You got to see if he'll give you first base. Three one delivery. Fouls it back. Niokuma just keeps battling and a three ball, two strike count. He's now gone deeper into a ball game than any other pitcher in this 0 9 World Baseball Classic. Gary, I might be more impressed with him here in the eighth inning than I have any of the others. And even though he's out of gas, not one time has he looked to the dugout or bullpen for help. He's got four more pitches that he can throw. 3 2 delivery on the way, and he walked him. That should be it. Only the second walk that he has surrendered in the game. But what a performance. Third time in this classic facing Korea. And he goes seven and two thirds innings, giving up only four hits, two walks, and six strikeouts. Not only will half of this stadium stand up and applaud this young man, but I've got a feeling all of Japan will get to their feet when this young man crosses the line to come off the field. What a performance. Did not ask any more out of your starter and what he gave him. Korea, though, has got the potential tying run on with two down. Here in the bottom half of the eighth inning, and they're going back to the top of their order now. He will stay out and watch. There is the attendance for tonight's ball game, the largest crowd. 54,846, a single game world record. It breaks the attendance record from last night. The overall attendance for this. World Baseball Classic in 09, 801,408. It's just absolutely exceeded anybody's expectations. And, and there's so much more. There's so much more about this than just balls and strikes and, and wins and losses. It, it, it's the, the, the growing of the game globally. It's the talent pool getting bigger so that the game gets better. And it's all of the youth programs, Gary, all around the world now. I mean, we're reading where other countries that aren't involved in the World Baseball Classic are, are calling, asking Major League Baseball for equipment so that they can get those programs going. I, I think about the kids, and I think about, you know, how you want to you, you, you want to leave more than you take. 
And to me, that's what Major League Baseball and the commissioner is trying to do. It will be back in four years, but Selig has made that very clear. There will be tweaks done, probably to move teams around a little more so they don't end up playing each other as often as these two teams have five times. Saguchi so comes on to do the pitching, the left hander out of the bullpen. Well, he's special, and he was back in 06 for Team Japan. All they need for him to do is get one out here, but it's not going to be an easy task. It will be the top of the order, and if anybody deserves a hit, this may be the guy. He's been hit on the head with a pitch that took him out of a ball game playing in San Diego, and then tonight had his helmet broken on a head first slide into second when he got kneed and it cracked and stayed in the ball game. Young Q Lee, 0 for 2 and a walk. Runner at first, two down, 3 2 Japan. Takes it inside for a ball. He's got a better breaking ball than that. Gucci will throw in the low 90s, which is legit, but his out pitch is a good hard curveball. The starter watching from the dugout. 1 0 count. Short lead at first. Fouls that one away, and then it will be one and one. It's almost like the, the manager for Japan, Mr. Hara, waited on this spot. He just he, he knew that he wanted to use his left hander here, knowing they would not pitch hit for Lee in this spot, and then thinking that after that, you know what? I've got Darvich ready to finish the game off. I mean you were you were flirting with fire all along but he's gotten to this point. Saguchi has got a 1 1. Taken down low two ball one strike count Saguchi appearing in his third game between these two ball clubs. He has a uh, previously worked inning in two thirds and given up nothing. The bullpen has been as strong if not stronger than their starters. With that tremendous ERA out of the bullpen. Well, Saguchi came into the ball game yesterday against the USA when they had mounted a rally and easily disposed of Adam Dunn with a strikeout. Two one count, runner off first base. Inside, falls behind, three and one. Lee up there's got to be going, that's all I need now, get hit by another pitch, but that's what gets me on. Whatever. I don't think he'd care, man. No. You can look at that uniform and tell you that this guy brings his lunch pail to work with him. Three ball, one strike count. Any contact, runner will be going with two away. Park at first. Three one delivered. That one towards left field up in the air. Yuchikawa's there and makes the catch. One run in on a hit with a base runner left on. We are going to go to the ninth inning closer to awarding the championship to one of these two teams and right now Japan has the lead three two this copyrighted telecast presented by authority of the World Baseball Classic Inc and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form and the accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without express written consent. Wherever you are around the world, hope you have enjoyed this championship game that is fire from over. Gary Thorne, Rick Sutcliffe, and our great crew on hand in a tremendous ball game going to the ninth inning. Sadahara, oh, who took the trophy out before the ball game and the pregame ceremonies and set it at home plate each team with a chance to see the beautiful Tiffany trophy that will be awarded. I thought it was so gracious how he not only went out and shook the hand of the manager for Japan, but walked across the field to do the same thing for Korea. Watching intently these two managers, Insik Kim, and Jahara on the other side. Lim coming on to do the pitching. Well, Lim's the closer. Normally you bring him in when you've got a lead, but right now the most important thing is to put a zero up in the top of the ninth. You do that. You've got your two, three, and Taekwon Kim, the fourth hitter, coming up to try to tie it for Korea in the bottom of the ninth. But Gary, it all starts right here. You have got to put up a zero. If they score, it's pretty much over. Min Ho Kang has come on to do the catching. Park was pinch hit for it. 
Now we go to the top of the ninth inning with the top of the order up for Japan with Ichiro. Two singles, two for four in the ball game, a 238 average on the classic so far. And Lim will go to work. Watch this delivery. Normally, when you see a guy down with that release point, you see like 80 to 85 miles an hour. With Lim, you see 90 to 95. Lim with a 1 0 count. Ichiro will try and get on and create some havoc here. Takes that one to right field, hit hard. Chu looking, and it hits off the wall. He's on his way to second base, and he's got a double. A stand up double for Ichiro, his third hit of the ball game. All right. I lied. I said the key for Japan to win was Ichiro hitting a home run. They had held him down until that point right there. He got a single in the first, kind of off the end of the bat. This ball here is off the wall. Nothing that Chu can do but get it back in, and by then Ichiro is standing on second base. What a potentially big run. Look at that turning around 92 miles per hour. They will play bunt moving in first and third. Nakajima, two singles, a walk, and is grounded out. Ichiro will be held with a shortstop, everybody moving in the infield. And the pitch is outside for a ball from Lim. Obviously, here in the ninth inning with a one run lead, an enormous potential run to be added. First baseman's halfway down the line here on this bunt. If he does, Nakajima squares, drops it, foul, 101. This is just another area, area, Gary, where these teams have been so good throughout this tournament. Guys not only getting down the bunts, but the defense of the bunts, the rotations. You don't make a good bunt here, they're going to make a play on each row at third. But Nakaj I'm so used to seeing him make a good bunt. Yeah, and Nakajima's an excellent bunter, whether you're in against him or not. Two sacrifices in the classic for him. 1-1. One, one. Ichiro getting off second base. There's the bunt and that one's foul. Got him in the batter's box. And a one ball two strike out. They're playing Kim the first baseman in so close because they want him to pick the ball up if it's bunted. That got him in the face. Got him right on the chin. Well you could see what happened there. How it, the angle of limb is it, it, so deceiving and the velocity along with it but he kind of pushed at that bunt rather than just catching the baseball with the end of the bat. Now Willie bunt again one two they back up at the corners not looking for the bunt with two strikes one two delivery to him and he doesn't and it's caught and each row gets back to the bag as Koo diving puts it away and saves a hit. I'm not surprised anymore. This defense is as good as I've ever seen on both sides of the field. They take the bun off. He tries to hit behind the runner. He does everything perfectly except he is robbed of not only a base hit but advancing the runner. What a great job of base running by Ichiro. How many guys would have got caught up in the moment on that ball hitting that direction and taking off trying to score. That would have been a double play. He didn't. One down. Aoki. Number three hitter in the lineup. And the pitch is away for a ball. Aoki has had a single. Back in the fifth inning. One for four. Got robbed in the seventh as Chu made a great catch on him on a ball that looked like it was going to be off the wall. Hitting 324 in the classic. Shortstop Park playing behind Ichiro to hold him close. Look where the catcher set up. 
you know what's going on here. Gonna put him on. There it is. Not gonna fool around with it anymore. They've got cleanup batter coming up. But they want a chance for that double play, so they'll issue the intentional pass here. Gary, we talked about it yesterday that a lot of the scouts that I talked to and a couple of coaches think that Aoki is the best player all around in Japan right now. So I think it's absolutely the right move. You don't want to let that guy beat you. He'll go down to first base, first and second one away, and Kenji Jojima will come up. He is 0 for 3 in the ballgame and has drawn a walk. Japan's four for 15 with runners in scoring position tonight in this ball game which Ichiro is but watching him right now he's he always does a lot of stretching but he was doing a lot more after that intentional walk than he was before it didn't look like he was trying to go anywhere I think he may be trying to run here one away ninth inning three two Japan judge him up with a slider outside from Lim. Rule worked two thirds of an inning, gave up a hit. Lim on for him. Fourth pitcher to be used by Korea in the ball game. So many opportunities for Japan oh. to break the game open. They've out hit Korea 12 to 4. Inside, we talked about Japan 4 for 15 with runners in scoring position. Korea's 0 for 1. Yet they're within a run here in the ball game in the ninth inning. Little breeze is picked up, blowing out towards right field. Judge him up with a 2 0 count. Lim's got to come and does 2 and 1. Just thinking about what's going on out there for Korea. To me, Taekwon Kim right now is praying that they get out of this and he has an opportunity to tie it up with his bat. You remember that defensive play, that ground ball that hit off his glove? It's the difference in the game right now. Two ball, one strike count. Runners off first and second. Lim with a long look back. Fly ball, not deep. Center field, coming hard. Lee, I mean a long way. But he had plenty of time to get there, and there are two down. Really, really surprised that Ichiro did not try to run there. That sack fly there could have led to a run had he been standing on third. Along with the fact that you got a right handed batter in there the sacrifice bunt didn't work but Gary Park's not catching anymore. You don't have the right. defensive guy back there. I'm, I'm just wondering. I mean you know he's not swung the bat well. I'm not trying to make an excuse for him but normally that's a spot where he would have he would have at least tempted to steal third. So he remains at second. I got some war up. Now with two down. An RBI single third inning. Two away two on. What a ball game. Fastball right there in the outside corner. Agasawara got the RBI in the third. Nakajima an RBI in the seventh inning. That also came off a single. Iwamura sack fly in the eighth. Which is the difference in the ball game. Shinsu Chu has had a home run. The first run for Korea in an RBI. Picked up in the eighth inning by Daho Lee. The two RBIs for Korea. Oh, almost got away. Kang had a reach for that one and almost tore his glove off. That was a great, great job of catching that ball. Look at this. Look at him down. It, it was almost like he was out there where they were when they intentionally walked Aoki. That man could play hockey in the NHL if he wanted to. One ball, one strike. Agasawara with that bat held out. Pulls it back in, pitch frame. They don't get the call, two and one. Both have been up previously in this ball game. In fact, they, this is the third time. For each of them to be up in the bullpen tossing. Well, look at Darvish. He, he's still up and throwing, but he's got his jacket on. And he's just kind of tossing. 
Two ball one strike count. Runners off first and second. Ogasawara was not cheated on that cut. Two and two. You know why he couldn't catch up with it? 95 miles an hour. Gary, that's a big number. He has that closer kind of stuff, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah, and there's two guys with that same kind of stuff down there in that bullpen for Japan. So as good as this game has been, it's about to get better. Lem is 32 years old. He is a veteran. So is the batter he faces, Agasawara. Here's the 2 2 delivery. Swung on and missed. A leadoff double by Ichiro, and he is left stranded. Will that fire up the offense in the bottom of the ninth inning? The championship is on the line. Japan leads at three to two, but Korea has three outs to work with. Korea trying to pull a little magic out here in the bottom half of the ninth inning against the defending champion 2006 final game against Cuba. Won by Japan by a score of 10 to 6 in the first World Baseball Classic in 06. Japan winning it. Sadahara O is their manager. Now they are three outs away from protecting it, and a pitching change is going to be made before we get this bottom of the ninth started. There's a lot of managing going on right now. Lee, the left handed hitter, was due up. So if you're Japan you run your left handed reliever out there trying to force the hand of Team Korea. They go to the bench for a right handed hitter. Now it makes it easy for you to go down there for your right handed reliever. So you Darvish is going to come out of the bullpen as he did in the ball game last night. He worked an inning. He had a couple of strikeouts gave up one hit. You wondered if he wasn't going to start that ball game or possibly start this one. But when he comes in out of relief, strikes out David Wright, and then Adam Dunn to end the ball game. One of those explosive fastballs to bring them to the final game here tonight. He is a bright, shining young star, not only in Japan, but in international baseball. He has really lit it up wherever and whenever he has pitched. But in his young career, maybe no more important an outing than what he makes right here trying to get a save. Well, what also might be important, though, is you take a look at that. That was yesterday. When's the last time he was asked to do this? Maybe in high school? What kind of velocity will we see out of him? We have seen 97, 98 in the past. If we see 91 92 on the first pitch tonight you're taking a chance plus the fact Rick he has been up in the bullpen he, was, he got up three times he's thrown a lot of pitches in the pen. Well I, I, I agree this game's different during the regular season there is a standard rule for every ball club in Major League Baseball if they're up twice they're done. After the second time they're up, if you don't bring them in, they're done. You don't even think about using them later on in that ball game. This is an exception to the rule. Coming into this World Classic, in four years that he has pitched in Japan, he was only called on in relief twice in 90 appearances. The other 88 games, he was a starter. So this role as a reliever, much less as a closer, is certainly new to him. He is a strikeout ace, averaging more than a strikeout per inning. And you know what? He's 22. He's 22. He's been blessed with one of those special arms, one of those special kids, and what is as special a moment as you can have. Kyung Yu Jung will come on as the pinch hitter. Korean fans on their feet. Jung is batting in the number two spot for Jin Young Lee. He's hitting 318 with a home run and two RBIs in the classic. His first at bat in this game. And here we go in the bottom of the ninth, and he takes a strike. This guy's a champion. 
not only part of the gold medal championship team but last year in Korea played for the championship team. Dunn takes the pitch away. Japan leads it three to two. Watching Jung in batting practice the last few days, really a short stroke, boy. He loves that fastball in and one of the few guys that can get to it. Davish with a 1 1 delivery. Outside with a slider, two ball, one strike count. How about that? You know, Kim can't wait to get up there, and he's hoping to have some men on base when he does. Darvish with the great fastball has thrown three straight breaking balls out of the bullpen. 2 1 delivery to Jung. Fastball in there for a strike, and it's 2 and 2. There aren't a lot of people sitting. <laughs> Did you see that number? We were looking for 90, 91, 96. He's okay. He has an arm, and he has ice water in his veins. It shows virtually no emotion on the mound. Two ball, two strikeout. Jung waiting. And he got him. Little emotion after he got that strikeout. Well, you go to your bench, and I'm going to counter. And right now, it was absolutely the right move made. By Tatsunori Hara, the manager of Team Japan. There's one out. But you know what? These next two are going to be even tougher than that last one was. They'll be the two toughest outs that this young 22 year old has ever had to get. Young Soo Kim, one for three in the game, hitting 393 with four RBIs in the classic. And a left handed batter against the right hander. And it's taken down low for a ball. <laughs> and then he's got to face the best hitter that Korea's put up. Waiting on deck is Kim. Our gun on TV said 100, and the one on the scoreboard said 100. It's amazing. And I mean, That's he just, every time he comes out on the mound, he writes another chapter in this young story. That will miss inside. He falls behind 2 0. Oh. That was a breaking ball at 94. That was a cut fastball. One of his problems I, that we've seen is that he has so much movement on the ball, sometimes it's hard for him to get it in the strike zone. 2 0 count. Japan trying to defend their title up by one in the ninth. Fastball missed 3 0. We're looking down at the third base coach. He's giving him the green light. Third base coach Rue just sticking his hand out saying, You get a fastball up, take a swing. And he walked him. The potential tying run is on in the ninth with one down. And the cleanup batter coming to the plate. Pinch runner at first base. Young Wook Lee. Everybody's going to get a chance in this game. What a great job of managing. I think you would agree, Gary. There's no losers in this ball game tonight. I mean, everybody's a champion, but you've got your fastest guy on the team. Still on your bench for this spot if needed, and now he's on first base. Young will play the pinch runner. Take Young Kim. Three home runs. In the dirt, ball one. Whether you send him or not for a stolen base attempt, he's in the mind of the pitcher on the mound. Take a look at him faking there as they've been doing all along. That gets the first baseman to yell, but it also looked like it created some, 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 a lack of confidence from Darvich missing wildly with that pitch. 1 0 delivery outside with a slider, 2 0. You, Darvish. 
You have to be careful here obviously but you also have to get an out. Duck Young Kim. He is their power bat. He leads them in RBIs with 11. He's had three fly balls in this ball game. And that's outside and it's 3 and 0. You've got to give him the green light. Yeah. He hits one out. You are the world baseball classic champion. Bottom of the ninth, 3 2, Japan leading. Takes a strike, three and one. See, this is where it's different again. Three one pitch with one out. Throughout the series, both of these teams have been sending the runner. Darvish with a look to first, runner goes. And it's a stolen base. Ball four, never mind. Got the walk. Two on, one out. Darvish has walked two in a row. Remember the guy that hit the three run homer against Venezuela? Here he is. Their only major league representative has hit a home run in this ball game, Shin Su Chu. And in a spot with two men on base. Let's take a look at it. Back in the fifth inning, down one to nothing. Breaking ball down below the strike zone, ends up over the center field wall. Timeout being taken. I think they want another pinch runner at first base. So. Kim drew the walk, bottom of the ninth inning. They're going for the win right here. Ishihara. Tuck Kyung Lee has come out to run. First and second, one down. Darvish. Chu takes the off speed pitch for a strike. I think he's only had three hits in the series. But two of them have left the ballpark. One of those, and this thing's over. Oh, one count, one away. Darvish comes right back at him with a great pitch, 0 and 2. Boy, that is, that's impressive. This is a cut fastball. Look at the movement down and in. Not a lot of it, not like an off speed pitch at 93 miles an hour. Darvish ahead on the count. Chew waiting on it. Fouls it back. And he had to jump on that one in a hurry. Both of these teams, as we've talked about, have seen so much of each other. They've got the scouting report, wanting to go up the ladder with that last fastball. Two just barely getting a piece of 96. Two on, one out. Two goes down swinging. And there are two away. The key for Korea was to put it in play. Sometimes that's easier said than done, particularly when you Darvish is on the mound. That was the tight curveball after the fastball to set that up to pick up the second out. Another power hitter. Yun Ho Lee, who has three home runs in the classic. He has a double, a run scored in this ball game, one for three. Japan is one out away from successfully defending their World Baseball Classic title. South Korea is one hit away from tying it up or better. Runners off first and second base, and Darvish looks back. 
with a shortstop Nakajima moving in behind the lead runner. Young will flee the lead runner at second base. Breaking ball down low, ball one. You talked earlier about pitching winning championships. Well, it sure does, doesn't it? Seen it in this game. I mean, there may be 12 hits on the board for Japan, but the pitching hasn't exactly been bad on either side. 1 0 delivery on the way. A called strike. 1 0 1. Tough spot as a manager. Again, one of those decisions where, with the winning run at first, you've got to stay away from an extra base hit. So that means your corner infielders have to give up some of their range to protect the line. One ball, one strike count. Lee. That's going to be a base hit in the left field. Young Nook Lee coming to the plate. This game is tied 3 3. No sooner said than capitalized on. Breaking ball hit probably where the third baseman might have been if he was at his normal position with two outs playing deep. But when you're guarding the line, there's no way you can get to that ball. And with the speed at second base, no way you can do anything about that. I don't know if he's back and he's deep and he dives. Maybe he knocks it down and gets the force play. But you guard the line to keep from losing the game and you allow the tying run to score. One more hit and they can win it. Tie game in the bottom of the ninth inning on their fifth hit of the game. Seventh RBI picked up by Young Ho Lee and the celebration that they're right back in it. And it came with two down off Darvish. 0 oh, 1 count. High strike, 0 oh, 2. This is like that movie you go to that you just don't want to end. This stuff is too good to just go nine innings. Well, I think you're going to get your wish. <laughs> Young Men Koo, the second baseman, 333. His average in the classic, a single one for three in the ballgame. 0 oh, 2 count on it. And he laces that one foul. A great jockeying game going on at second base. Tak Kyung Lee is the lead runner at the potential game winning run. And Nakajima's dancing with him. Look out. <laughs> Off that foul ball. You know what? I might try running here. I don't really like what's going on at home plate. Coe looks a little bit overmatched. Maybe try to create something. 0 oh, 2 delivery. Coe swings and misses. And we will go extra innings in this championship game. Darvish strikes the side out. But while it was going on, he gave up a one out walk and a two out single to Byun Ho Lee that has tied this game. Now, what Korea's got to do is figure out who's going to play where. They've taken a lot of people out of this game. 3 3, we go to the 10th. The celebration in Seoul. The Korean broadcasters working here. Here's the call. No excitement there at all. That's wonderful. That great. 3 3 ball game. Lim will stay out on the mound. Nuchikawa has had a single and a run scored. Two for four in the ball game. will lead it off. We go to the 10th. There's your line. 3 12 and 0 for Japan. 3 5 and 1 for Korea. And we are in the 10th inning. 
Ichikawa hitting at 294 will foul that one away. You know those guys got an advantage on us though. I mean we've got to act like we don't care who wins. I don't. They can. They, well <laughs> you know what I can't I can't pull against. I, I mean there's, there's certain guys maybe you pull for a little bit more. I'm so happy for for Taekwon Kim. Yep. He got that walk. He got an opportunity to redeem what could have gone as an error of play that he'll tell you he could have made. And this game's back to even. Great ball game is all I wanted to see, and that's exactly what's happened. It, it's so much more. It's so much more than than, than what we thought. Todd Conley has come on to play at first base. He came out of there. Young Q Lee is now in left field. He had started in center. And Jung Walkley will stay in the ball game after pinch running and play center field. One ball, two strike out. Jakawa fouls it off. We said earlier during the ball game, the flip of the coin last night might just prove to be a vital factor in this game because the flip. Was won by Korea, which gave them the chance to be the home team. And in their last at bat off you, Darvish, they get the run that ties the ball game up. Kind of funny. I mean, you think about who's the best team, you might call it a coin toss. Yeah, really. That, that coin's still in the air. One, two delivery. Right field, that's going to fall in for a base hit. Yutsu Cowers on with a leadoff single here in the 10th inning. A three hit ball game for the left fielder. Here comes one of those spots again that Walter Austin was talking about. We're in a one run ball game, a one run decision, one manager or the other can make the difference. I'll never forget, we lost a one run game to the Giants, and I, the last person in the world I thought was at fault was the manager. And the next day, Walter Austin was so mad at himself, saying things that he should have done. Well, that's what's going through both of these managers' minds right now. And Abba has had two at bats, a double, and is grounded out. He came on as a pinch hitter in the sixth inning and stayed on as the designated hitter. 318 is average in the classic, looking for the bunt. He squares very early, drops a beauty down to first. Only play is going to be at first. Second baseman over to cover. Two there, they get the out as Lim fields his position and a sacrifice. Second work that time. Time. It did not work after Ichiro hit his double. Nakajima not able to get it down. Thinking at the time maybe it was no big deal. They still had the lead. But it ended up being a big deal because they couldn't add to the lead. Now the potential go ahead run for Japan here in the 10th inning is on at second base. Akinari Iwamura, who is batting eighth in the order. Has an RBI and a sack fly. Is 0 for 2 and a walk officially. The shortstop park will move in behind the runner. Golding close. One down. Lim gets the fastball in for a strike at the knees. I tell you right now, if it was me, I, I would have walked him if it weren't for one reason. And that's the fact that if you walk him, you got number nine, but then you've got to deal with number one, and that would be Ichiro. Therefore, you've got to pitch to him. Like to get out of the sunning without going back to the top of the order. Yes, you would. And maybe not face Ichiro again in the World Baseball Classic this year. Oh, one delivery, a fastball away. Both teams coming in with six and two records. The only losses in the Classic have been to one another. As these teams are meeting for the fifth time. Going two and two in the World Baseball Classic and making it to the final game. I think about the last tournament that I saw Akinora Iwamura in. It was called the World Series. Mm -hmm. And he started out game one going three for three against Cole Hamels and the Phillies. One ball, one strike count. Lashed into left field. That's going to be a base hit. Young Q Lee up. Runner will hold right to the cutoff, man. First and third with one away. First hit of the ball game for Iwamura. I told you, he finds a way to beat you. Take a look at the throw here. Look at the effort. I mean, gone completely. 
but what does it do? It hits the third baseman perfectly to where he can cut it off. Look at that. I mean, it's right on the money. He's going to throw the runner out at home, and it also gives the third baseman a chance to cut it so that he can keep the double play in order and keep the runner off the Iwamira at first base. And the managerial wheels continue to turn here. A meeting at the mound and a meeting at the plate. Kataoka is due up, the number nine hitter. We are going to get a pinch hitter in his place for Japan. Kawasaki. Minanori Kawasaki, who has played a lot, will come on as the pinch hitter. Kawasaki last night against USA with an RBI, a couple of hits, and a couple of runs scored. Kawasaki coming up with runners on at first and third and only one away. Talk about having faith in your bench. Got a chance to put the potential winning run across here. It would be the go ahead run in the top half of the 10th inning. Kawasaki will be asked to do it. Coming off the bench, he's a shortstop. 301 career hitter in eight years. Last year hit 321. Only one home run, not a power hitter. Speedster, Sadahara O oh, watching. He's not neutral. One away. Infield double play depth. They'll move the third baseman Lee in even with the bag. Well, and the outfield is shallow as well. Uchikawa at third base does not have blinding speed. There could very easily be a play at home plate on a fly ball. Or a ground ball because that infield is they're even closer than double play depth. That's all going through their mind right now, Gary. That's a great point because if that ball is hit softly and it's not hard enough to turn a double play, you're right, the throw will come home. One down. Kawasaki pops it up. Shortstop. Park. In this ball game, Korea has continued to record big outs inning after inning after inning. Eleven have been left on base by Japan in this game. Ichiro. You got a batting chance. You got a former MVP. Are you going to let him beat you? First and third, two down, tenth inning. See how they play it. I think you could tell by the way I posed that question what my vote would be. And now the runner at first, interestingly, you don't guard him. If you send him, then you make it easier to put each row on. Well, they're not going to hold him at first base. And the pitch will miss for a ball. Each row's doubled, two singles, three hits, five at bats. Lee is playing behind the runner, and I mean way behind him. Well, and now the first base coach had a conversation with the runner as if to say, you know, if they're going to give it to you, go ahead and take it. That is Akinori Iwamura at first base. Uchikawa's on to third. He's going now. And you know what? I mean, if you're a pitcher on the mound here, that little third to first move, it doesn't work very often. Trouble is, you got nobody to cover first. Well, you don't need to. You get him out there and no man, you got him. You don't have to make that throw. 1 0 count on each row. Tie game, 10th inning, 3 3. Runner goes down low. Strike called. Sorry. No throw made, obviously. So now two in scoring position. Do you walk each row here? 1 1 count. I haven't told you what my vote would have been before he took the bag. They don't look like they're going to. Here's Darvish. Gave up that run in the ninth. 1-1 one, one count, two away. Ichiro a base hit. He's got two RBIs. One and two. I 
I'm trying to think if I've ever seen a guy from that angle throw this hard. Seen a lot of them. Normally you see 85, 88. This is 95 and at times above. Well, the closer who pitches in Japan in the regular season, pitching for his home country of Korea against Japan. One two delivery. Ichiro fouls it off again. I know you agree. He, he could pitch anywhere. Uh, he's yep. I don't know how many teams would like to have him working for him in the majors. And, and I think that's probably a lot of the reason why the manager for Korea, Mr. Kim, is letting him try to get Ichiro out. First, uh, second, and third, rather. A one two count with two down. New baseball will be thrown out. Just kind of wondering, Gary, too, all these moves that have been made. Remember when the catcher was removed, Park, and all the great defense that we've seen with him? What if, what if, what if there's a wild pitch now? What if there's a pass ball? Some of those moves could come back to haunt you. Got a lot of new players in positions out there. Lim ready with a one two to each row. And he'll do it again. Lim last year went to the Occult Swallows in Tokyo, and it was his first season there. He ended up with 33 saves in the Japanese League. A one and five overall record. 32 year old veteran, first year playing in Japan. One of the ironies that he would be back here pitching against Japan in the championship game of the World Baseball Classic. One two count two down tenth inning tie game. You get to that point now where as a closer which you mentioned for Lim, they don't reach. 35 40 pitches very often. They don't last long as closers if they do that. But that's where he's at now, being asked to pitch another inning and maybe more. Still one and two on each row. Runners off second and third. Went outside with it. Two ball, two strikeout. Seven pitch at bat so far. These two teams splitting the first four games they faced one another in in this classic, and the fifth game just does not want to give in. Just keep thinking about Iwamura and how he created all these problems with that base hit, tried to drive in the go ahead run. I mean, he, he, it's just what he does. He's just one of those guys that helps you win ball games. Two ball, two strike count on each row. Lim with a long set. Line drive, base hit, center field. One will score. Here's the throw coming by lead to the plate, not in time. Each row, a two RBI base hit, 5 3 Japan. Again, you can see now why he was part of the all tournament team for the World Baseball Classic back in 06. He hit in all eight games during that series, but none of those hits as big as that one. A four hit ball game, by far his best game of this classic when they needed it most.
Two RBIs here in the tenth inning and a 5 3 lead for Japan. And it came with two down. Nakajima, there goes Ichiro. He'll get the stolen base. They didn't hold him. You know, we're not second guessing here. We first guessed. We said that when Iwamura went to second, I mean, that makes it easy. You put Ichiro on. I'm just curious to see how this at bat works out. Nakajima's had a couple of singles, hitting 364 in the classic. Lim working out of the stretch. Way inside and hit him. Got him on the leg. Now Lim's got to settle it in, get through this inning. Runners now on at first and third. Nakajima with a long walk out to the mound after he got hit in the leg. Well, it, it, it looked like there might have been a little intent there. I'm not saying he wanted to hit him. I mean, that's the guy you want to get out. You don't want to face another left-handed hitter. But not only was he trying to come in, but I mean, this is. I mean, he chased him. You know, when that ball takes off and runs like that as a hitter, you got nowhere to go. I. I I've thrown that pitch a few times. I, I think there was more to it than that. Well, now you really are in a hole with Aoki up there. He takes the pitch away for a ball. He's had a single in this ball game. And you Davish is warming up again in the dugout. He gave up the run in the ninth inning and it looks as though he's going to come back on to pitch in the tenth. How about that? 1 0 count, 2 down. Aoki with runners at first and third. Runner goes and will take second base. Remember that point we talked about with Lim? Fastball getting away. Now the breaking ball coming out of his hand. That, 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 that just spells fatigue. Japan having a big inning, and now they'll give the intentional pass. This is twice. Oki has drawn the intentional pass in this ball game. This will load the bases up. Maybe two hitters too late. Yeah. There is ball four. What a big inning for Japan here in the tenth. Yuchikawa led it off with a single. They sacrificed him. Iwamura got a base hit. And then the big hit by Ichiro that came with two down. For the RBIs and a 5 3 lead for Japan. Bases loaded two away. Jojim up. Being challenged again. Well, you've got to meet that challenge. And you're right. I mean, it's, 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 it's showing a lack of respect when you intentionally pass a guy. And as you mentioned, Gary, that's the second time in a row they've done it to Ioki to get to Jojima. And he's had big. Games obviously against Korea as you saw, but not in this one. Every time he's been up, he's had runners in scoring position. He's 0 for 4 with no RBIs in those situations. He drew a walk in the first inning. Got the bases loaded here. 0 1. That pitch will miss inside for a ball. Hit into a fielder's choice. Struck out with two on in the fifth inning. Had a double play ball in the seventh inning with a couple on, and then in the eighth inning, flied out. Wow. 1 1. Off speed delivery fouled off. 1 and 2. Five runs on 15 hits for Japan, three runs on five hits for Korea. We are in the tenth tie. Korea came back to tie it up in the ninth inning with two down on a Lee single. One two delivery. Strike called and that will do it. So it works again. On that occasion but each a row. The big hit. Two RBIs and the youngster Darvish is going to come back out and try to be the winning pitcher in this game.
Ichiro, obviously a hero, a national hero in Japan. When he got that base hit and two RBIs, the call made by the Japan Sportscasters. Center Samurai Japan no leader, Ichiro no Enchou Jukai no Niten Taiburi, two days hit to Maramashita. Much milder than Korea, don't you think? Well, uh, Ichiro's been doing it for a long, long time, huh? No big surprise there. Can Korea find a little more magic? Now they're down by two. Bottom of the tenth inning, eight, nine, and one are due up. This will be the first at bat. For Kang, the catcher. Kawasaki will stay in the ball game and play at third base. Him on for Kataoka. So once again, Japan's three outs away from defending their title. And Yu Darvish, the 22 year old, two walks, three strikeouts, is on to try now to get a win. Kang does not have any numbers here for the classic. Those are his numbers from the regular season of the Giants. 1 1. Will foul it back 1 and 2. Tell you what, he's going to have some numbers though before his career is over with. Watching him during this final, this guy can really swing the bat. And of course, the guy on the mound can. To really take the sting out of the swing. Now Asaki in the third base. One ball, two strike count on Kang. Oops. Two and two. You know, as he went to the mound, he brought his own rosin bag out. So there's a couple of them back there again. Breaking ball, trying to get up. Probably throw it a little bit too hard. I mean, he's been throwing for about an hour and a half. I know he? he has. Oh, longer than that. Half the night. 2 2 delivery on the way, and that'll miss outside on a three ball, two strike count. A lot of times you get an idea of what kind of hitter a guy is by the way he takes a pitch. Look at this. This pitch is a strike for a long time. This kid's going to be a real nice hitter before it's all over with. Full count. They need the base runners here. Down to third and foul. They might have had it there. Yep. That looked to be ball four. He is 23 years old. He had a big Olympics for this gold medal winning team from Korea. Now trying to get on and get the potential tying run to the plate in the bottom half of the 10th inning. 3 2 delivery. Catcher saying he hit the glove. Nojima saying is. Nojima saying that he hit it on the follow through. Yeah. Not, not there, but he hit it there. No, it already came out. He's already trying already. to sell it, but I don't blame him. Good try. Yeah. It's a championship game. Three and two. These fans are just amazing. They've been going for like three and a half hours like oh, this. They were going when the gates opened. Yeah. Three two delivery and he walked him and the potential tying run will come up. Three walks by Darvish. To go along with three strikeouts. And of course the base hit by Bum Ho Lee. Two attention please. Pinch hitting. Number two. Everybody getting a shot here. Jung Choi will come to the plate as a pinch hitter. The bullpen walking around. And a big cut and foul back. We saw Choi play in the ball game against Venezuela. Played third base then. Had an RBI, but 
Other than that was 0 for 4 didn't get the ball out of the infield. And he is 0 for 6. In the classic. He's been brought in as a defensive replacement or pinch runner. Now as a pinch hitter runner at first base 0 1. The big bats have been taken out of the lineup by Korea in the ninth inning. For pinch runners when they were trying to get the ball game tied up they did. They don't have Young Soo Kim the number three hitter and their big hitter. Tuck one Kim is out of there. Two strike count. Very short lead at first. Check swing one around. Fourth strikeout for Darvish. Center fielder number 50. So there's one of them. Two outs away from the World Baseball Classic Championship. At the top of the order, Young Q Lee has gone the distance in the ball game. He's had an 0 for 4 and a walk. Batting 235. Runner at first and one away. Shallow center field. Plenty of time. Aoki there to put it away. Two down. Japan was here in the ninth inning where they needed just one more out to defend their championship. Didn't get it then. Can they get it now in the bottom of the tenth? Each row with the two RBIs that right now are the difference in the game. They'll play behind the runner at first base. It's the run at the plate that matters. Jung will stand in. With two down. Darvish with a fastball misses ball one. I mean they are completely committed to you Darvish here. Yeah I did. Even after throwing all those pitches yeah. last night. Up warming up in the sixth seventh eighth inning. Anwu Jung takes the strike. You would never see this in the major leagues. You would see the owner. <laughs> Coming out of the skybox to strangle the manager. One ball, one strike count. John. One and two. They can feel it. A four hour ball game. Maybe close to an end. Here's the one two pitch. Swung on and missed, and Japan has successfully defended their World Baseball Classic title. Took extra innings to come back. My career to tie it up in the ninth. They salute their fans. Korean team. Now Japan will again receive the trophy as champions. I know you agree with me. There's nothing but champions walking off of this field. All of the people coming out of the bullpen. I don't know if there was a guy on the bench left for either team. Every bit of it was left on the field. And I think about what Ichiro told me before the ball game. I said, what will it mean to you to win tonight? More than anything I've ever done in baseball before. More than 06. Because of the rivalry now. 
It is a rivalry. I mean, Korea shows up. They, they, they really couldn't compete back then. They got blown out six to nothing in the semifinal game. But they can compete now. And knowing that Ichiro had the biggest part of it, it was his two RBIs in the top of the tent that was the difference in this ball game. The ceremony is on field of the presentation of the trophy. The MVP will be announced and we'll be back to bring it to you. Samurai Japan, Nirenpanaru, Nippon Jikara, Haki Shimashita, Ichido, no Kesho, Timely, Nitan Timely, Gakimashita, Encho Jukai, the Samurai of Japan have won it again in the call by their broadcasters back home. 515 and 0 for Japan, 3 5 and 1 for Korea, and they had to earn it. Well, Gary, when we talked about the key for Korea tonight, it, it, it was what they told me, the players told me before the game, we've got to find a way to put it in play. They could not do that. 11 strikeouts on the night for Korea. And of course, you know, the, the one to begin the game was a called strike, and the one to end the game was a swinging strike. They battled, but when you think about it, Ichiro, Iwamura, and the pitching of Japan is still too much for Team Korea to handle. Giving up just the five hits, three runs, but only five hits surrendered in the ball game. So Japan will have their colors honored in New York City as the Empire State Building will be lit up tomorrow. The colors of Japan in New York City is part of what they have won. Sadahara O, oh, who is down on the field, who walked the trophy out earlier, will be making the presentation. It is a beautiful Tiffany trophy, All sterling silver, that will go to Japan. The runner-up medals will also go to Korea, and the winning medals to the other side. Bud Sealing, the commissioner of baseball, is out. Donald Fear, the head of the Players Union, and the International Baseball Federation leader, Harvey Schiller, is also out there. For Korea, this will be tough to come out, and have to receive the runner-up. Boy, they battled in this game to get back in the ninth inning to tie it up and send it on, but just too much firepower. Darvish coming on, getting five strikeouts in two innings. Will come away with a win and win. Lim, rather, the closer, who took the loss in a couple of innings with a couple of runs on four hits off it. Waiting for the medal awards to be given here to the members of the Korean honored team. to present at this time the silver medals you know, to Gary, it's all Korea. about improvement. And you think about Korea getting to the semis three years ago in the first one, getting to the finals here. If they continue on the path that they're on, it won't be this trophy that they're picking up four years from now. They sure have put the world on notice with their performance in this 09 World Baseball Classic. Watching Harvey Schiller, who is uh, putting some of these medals on, the head of the International Baseball Federation, who over the weekend, through his support completely and entirely to continuation of the classic, he thinks it will also help. He's on the left there in getting both baseball and softball back into the Olympics. Schiller is heading up the cause before the International Olympic Committee to have the sports reinstated. For the 2016 games and he said because Chicago Tokyo Madrid and Rio de Janeiro are the finalists for the 16 games that those cities he think will help because of their interest in baseball and maybe getting the game of baseball and softball reinstituted to the Olympics. Wow. You know what I think of too as I look at that picture. It makes me want to congratulate Commissioner Bud Selig again. 
all that, that he's done in baseball from interleague play to the three divisions, the revenue sharing, the parity because of that, the wild card, and all of the successes that, that, that those have been, to me, none like what he has done here with the World Baseball Classic. This has been a venture with Donald Fear in the middle of the Headers of Players Association where at least for once the owners and Major League Baseball and the players <laughs> were able to come together and genuinely 100 percent support the effort for the classic. They are in fact partners in the World Baseball Classic Incorporated along with the International Federation in making this possible. So there are the medal presentations to the team from Korea. Thank you Team Korea for your participation and sportsmanship in the 2009 World Baseball Classic. WBC에 참가해서 끝까지 최선을 다해주고 스포츠맨십을 보여준 대한민국 팀에게 감사드립니다. And now it's our pleasure to present the 2009 World Baseball Classic gold medals to Team Japan. World Baseball Classic 금메달 일본에게 수여됩니다. will be an announcement of the most valuable player award along with the awarding of the trophy and generally it's the last player to receive the gold medal who is the MVP Daisuke Matsuzaka was the winner of it back in 06. Team Japan, please welcome Daisuke Matsuzaka. He's two for two. You know what? I agree with that too. Because he really set the tone. He didn't have his best stuff. He didn't have his best fastball. But he competed. He battled. Korea. And it was all we about heart. Which to me what this final game was all about. Baseball classic. He was really moved when he heard that. And surprised. See him put his hand over his mouth like, oh my goodness. Dice K was 3 0 with a 2 4 5 ERA and three starts. Now the awarding of the trophy. Fans, it's an honor to now present Team Japan with the 2009 World Baseball Classic Trophy.
자 이제 2009 월드 베이스볼 클래식 트로피를 오늘의 승리를 한 일본 팀에게 전달하겠습니다. The picture of this team will treasure forever. That's not the peace sign. That's number two. And you can count on them coming back for number three. Here's your final the championship in 10 innings going to Japan with that 5 3 score. What a great start was made. Nuakuma went seven and two thirds innings the longest outing by any pitcher in the classic. He didn't uh, get the win but he gave up only a couple of earned runs. And what a battle by Korea to come back in the ninth inning to get the ball game tied up and send it into extra innings and then Ichiro with the two RBI single. And that made it a 5 3 ball game, and that's the way it ended. Samurai, that was the nickname given to the team when they came over to play here in the World Baseball Classic, and they lived up to that great warrior tradition in Japan. Well, and number 18 is given to the best pitcher on Team Japan, and once again, Daisuke Matsuzaka did not disappoint. Ichiro talking before the game about I hope I have a good game because the only reason I'm here is because of my teammates and all that they have done. Well, when they needed him most, he came through. And you have to believe the impact that this 09 Classic will have on the next Classic will be that more players will want to come. It's scary. 
It's scary to think about how good it was in 06, yet how much better it has been in 09 and what it's going to be like four years from now. I, I totally agree with you. Yep. I think the players go back with such warm words about the classic that those who may have chosen not to come will rethink that the next time around because this has really turned into a very special baseball event. Look at that. Look at that. Murata's jersey over the championship trophy. He went back home to Japan because of the torn hamstring to have it treated, so not here, but they have his jersey out there. And he did contribute. He was their major RBI leader and power hitter when he was injured. So that will do it from Los Angeles Dodger Stadium. Certainly could not have asked for a better ball game than this one has been. We had 16 teams that started in this 09 World Baseball Classic that started back on March 5. The Tokyo Dome is where it all began. That was where the first round started. And as we say goodbye tonight, we're going to give you a chance to take a look at the great festive atmosphere along with the wins and defeats and the images of this classic. And it was indeed that. So many hundreds of people involved on our side of it for all of our crew members who worked at all of the different sites in this classic starting out with four in the beginning then moving on to the second round in Miami and San Diego and then the finals here in Los Angeles their great work has made all the pictures and sounds possible including our great crew here the flag will be walked around the field here as Japan has successfully defended their championship. For Rick Sutcliffe and all of our crew here in L.A., we hope you have enjoyed our coverage of the 09 Classic. I'm Gary Thorne. Thanks for being with us, everybody. And enjoy the sights and sounds one more time as we bid you adieu. We'll see you at 2013. Good night, everybody. Mexico! Mexico! Mexico!